Welcome, uh, ladies and, and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Sorry for being a little late. Sorry for being a little late. How are you guys on this Friday evening? Hello, Inkling. Hello, Harmus. Hello, Nameless. Hello, Noel. Hello, Sev. Hello, Tragedy. Hello, your waifu. Hello, Tetriexo. Hello, Eggshell. Hello, Pospi. Hello, Alice. Hello, Kayla. Hello, Ramen. Hello, Cursed Chests. Uh, hello, Freefall. Hello, Alfred. Uh, hello, Lucas. Hello, Freefall. Hello, Noel. I already said hello to you. You know the rules. You only say hello once. Okay, it's fine. I forgive you. I forgive you. So, it's time to continue all this Iron Man run of Path of Radiance, which will absolutely succeed and will not fail. Of course, right? Of course, right? Of course it will succeed. There's no question it will succeed. Uh, I think we'll start every stream by like showing off my units and how they're doing. Also a good, uh, good, uh, good uh, chance to show their, uh, show their growth rates if, uh, if you happen to wanna, if you happen to wanna see their growth rates. I also have the, uh, the, the bands now. So, for example, I can do this. So, uh, the soldier band gives HP defense, archer band gives spell. So if I need to remember what, what kind of growth rates the, uh, the, the bands give, I can just look them up like this. Uh, but yeah, in case you're in case you're wondering what Ike's growth rates are, here they are. Apparently, I got a very blessed Ike, but he's kind of low on defense, which is that is a little bit of a problem. Not gonna lie. So he he's a little he's gonna be a little squishy in the end game, but he's definitely gonna cap strength and speed. So I just hope his defense follows suit. I might give him the night ban, maybe. We will see. Uh, then we have Titania. Uh, nothing wrong with this Titania. I think I think she is. Uh, I think she's pretty much standard Titania. She got one blank level up, which which was a little bit sad. I, I didn't didn't particularly like that. You look good, healthy egg. Well, I might finally be well again. I think after like four weeks of being sick. So thank you. Uh, I think I think that there's nothing there's nothing to say about this Titania. She's just normal Titania, which means she's really good. Uh, my Soren is also blessed, so that's kind of cool. Um. Look at this. 11 magic, 14 skill, 12 speed. That is ridiculously good. That is ridiculously good. So, uh... I actually... This may sound a little bit silly, guys, but... <laughs> this may sound incredibly silly, but I'm tempted to give him a strength band. I, I, I might give him the fighter band to make him level HP and strength a little bit. Um, oh, interesting. Both the fighter band and the knight band give the same bonuses? That... That's probably a mistake, right? Doesn't the knife band give HP and defense? So the reason, yeah, I kind of want to give Soren the 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 maybe there's a better one for him. I could also give him the vibrant band for strength and defense. Um, Cause giving, uh, yeah, give strength defense, doesn't it? Cause I'm I'm tempted to give. I think I'm gonna put the fighter band on Soren for a few levels. Because here's the thing: every point of strength that Soren gets for like the first three or four levels is actually akin to a point in speed. So getting a couple strengths on Soren is actually not bad if you want him to double. Um, no, I, I'm not gonna give him knives. Shut up. But it's something to keep in mind at least. Uh, but this is a very good Soren. Uh, then we have an Oscar who is, uh, if I'm not completely mistaken, I think this Oscar is very fast. Uh, I think his growths may be missing. I'm not entirely. Nope, never mind. Here they are. So, uh, Knife Sword. No, Knife Sword is not good. Shut up, Hanako. You're wrong. Stop trolling. But yeah, this Oscar is pretty fast. 14 speed, 13 defense. He's fast and tanky, which is a combination I really like. He's very hard. He doubles, but he also takes a lot of punishment, which is nice to see. Uh, then we got Riss. He's going to die soon anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But here, I guess, if you want to see his growth rates. He's too squishy. If I put shade on him, maybe. But he still risks getting one shot in Clash. with like He's going to have like three defenses as a bishop, 30 HP as a bishop. 
Uh, so there's this gonna... As soon as a Paladin with a Silver Axe comes within range of him, he's just dead. So that that's the problem with Riss. It's very hard to keep alive. Maybe if you get us like... Maybe if you get him up to level 10 Bishop. Maybe you can get us like, HP over 40, then maybe. But otherwise, it's just very hard to get any mileage out of this Riss. Uh, Mia, who gives a shit? I'll show her growth rates anyway. There you go. Uh, she's fast, I guess, which is nice. So, uh, 40 strength, yay. 60 speed, who cares? Uh, yeah, those are my units. So, um, today we're... Are we doing chapter 8 or 9? I think it's 9. Pretty sure it's 9. Or is it 8? I don't remember, actually. <laughs> I, I forgot. Uh, we're gonna support up Ike and Soren. I think this is a no brainer I'll do Titania Riss because Riss is probably dead soon anyway, and it gives her 5 hit, which can actually be kind of nice. Yeah, it's 9. So, uh, what I'm gonna do, the first thing I'm gonna do here is I am going to forge a hand axe for Titania, but I'm not gonna actually put it... You see, you can only buy javelins and hand axes every other shop, but there is a little trick you can do. You can forge a hand axe with no bonus stats on it. As you, as you, you can, if you want to, you can give it like 5 hit, but... I don't really know if I want to spend 400 gold on that, so I, I'm just going to forge nothing. And I'm just going to put that on Titania so she has a hand axe. It's a little trick, like you use up your one forge, but I do actually think it's kind of worth it. Um, and then I think Soren should probably get a new Wind Tome. Yeah, I'm also tempted to give him a Thunder Tome. Reason being is I kind of lost it on, on Ileana, which is a little sad. Is there anything else I need? Yeah, I need a I need a javelin on, on Oscar. There we go. Javelin on Oscar. What else do I need? Uh probably like probably a steel ants on Titania is probably not a terrible idea, I think. Are you I can't start forging weapons for Clash until I get money. <laughs> I don't have any money as of yet, so. We have a single Vulnerary, I think that goes on Soren probably. We do have a Speedwing that I'm kind of holding on to. Um, why do you let Ileana die? Well, I, I technically never killed her, I just failed to recruit her because I couldn't kill the enemies in time. It, honestly, the reason I don't have Ileana now is because I lost Boyd, because if I had Boyd for Chapter 8, he could have helped me kill stuff, and I would have been able So Boyd. By losing Boyd, I also indirectly lost Eliana, which is a little bit sad, but hey, that's just how it is. All right, we need to decide on uh, on bands. So for Ike, I definitely think I'm going to give him the Knight Band, because again, he's low on defense, and that would be nice. So I'm going to give it. Wait, I don't have the Knife Band? Oh, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to put the Knight Band on Ike for for defense and strength. Or sorry, defense, or is it defense on HP? I don't remember. Um, for Titania, I think uh, any band would do, really, honestly. Pro HP speed is alright. I think getting a bit of extra speed on Titania is probably not bad. So, uh, we're gonna... I mistraded Oscar. Oh, I guess I did. Yeah, I did. Thanks for letting me know. There we go. Uh, for Oscar, he, he also kind of needs strength, so I'm thinking, uh... Hmm. He honestly could use the fighter ban. But I'm gonna put that on Soren. Do I have any? I got the sword ban, which is skill unlock. That kind of sucks. Um... I guess I'll give him the... Uh... I really don't know. I don't... I guess, uh, I guess, uh... Paladin Band? What did I give to Titania? Oh, I didn't give her, I, I didn't give her one yet. Uh, I guess I'll give her the Sword Band. Oscar gets this. Uh, Riss can just hold on to the, uh, maybe the Mage Band, I'm not sure, for some extra magic. Probably it's not a bad idea. And I'm gonna put the fighter ban on Soren. Funnily enough, yeah. And then I'm gonna bring the other bands with me so I can give them out to new units. Like the priest and the thief band. 
You're gonna lose the Mage Band? I, I won't lose Soren in this particular... Yeah. I won't lose Soren in this one. So I'll put the... I'll put the Knight, Archer, Priest, and Thief Band. I'll trade them out to units that join me later. What does the Sword and Skill Band give? Uh, you can see it right here. Uh, it gives uh, Skill and Luck. Alright, so I think that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Don't think we need to buy anything. We are ready to go. We are ready to go, ladies and gentlemen. Are you using... You get bans on your second playthrough. Are you using Marime? Uh, am I? I guess I am, yeah. I, I Marime is really good, so I'm I'm definitely I'm definitely using Marime. All right. Um. I have no idea what song this is. Oh, I like this one. So, uh, this is the chapter where you get Mordecai and Leth, although they don't join you quite yet. So, every single time I play this map, I send Titania alone to try and stop this guy, and it never works. I have a bit of a different strategy to try and get to him this time around. You get a Talisman and a Restore Staff in this house. It's not a big deal, but I'd like to get the Talisman. So, uh, I'm a little bit sad that I don't have Ileana. I have two empty deployment slots here, which is a little bit annoying. Remember to protect the yellow units this time. I'm not gonna- I'm not gonna have them fight. I'm gonna ask them to- to fuck off. Alright, so we get... Two new units. Let's talk a little bit about them, and whether or not they're good for Iron Man. Starting with Mists. Um, Mist is one of those units that I always try to train, but she always dies because she she kind of suffers from the same problem as Riss in that she's just super frail. Um, but if you can promote her, she gets a mount. She's the only mounted healer in the game except for Alinsha, and we all know. We all know how dangerous it is to heal Alinsha in the late game. So ideally, if I could keep Mist alive, that would be great. I'm not saying I will, but if I could, it would be amazing. She is really good. Uh, but it just takes forever to get her. She needs to heal so many times to level up. It's very frustrating. Um, we also have a unit that I actually did train once. We have Rolf. Um, Rolf has, like, he works similarly to Walt in FE6. His stats are atrocious and he's an archer, but he has 39 levels to grow with decent growth rate. So, if you just put enough levels into him, he will get good eventually, just by pure merit of, like, excess because when you have 39 levels to grow that's a lot of levels to gain stats and most of Wolf's, uh sorry rolf's growth rates are like in the 50s so that is like going to statistically give him like plus 20 in most stats plus his prom promo gains and maybe a little bit because he stat plus and some extra for bands so is he worth it no i don't think so i think he really bad but if you train him like he will kill things it just takes forever so, uh, he does come with- I do like his bow. Like, he comes with a very nice personal bow. It's like a steel- it's like a slightly more accurate steel bow that has less weight. So, it's- it, it does- like, it's not great, but it's- it's- it's better than nothing, you know? Alright. So the first thing you gotta do is you gotta tell uh, Mordecai and Left to 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 fuck off. This is very important. So the first thing I'm gonna do. Oh wait, what did I do? Titania was supposed. Titania was supposed to go here. Um, okay, so I already fucked up. That's okay though. Uh, the most important thing with Titania is actually just that she kills the mages, which I think she can still do from here. So, what I'm gonna do is, uh, we gotta mark the range of all these guys. Wait, how do how do you get rid of these marks? 
There is a button to do it. Uh, ah, there we go. So, what we gotta do is we gotta put Titania right here. With the hand axe. Like, the most important thing is that she kills the mages. That is honestly the most... And we've already failed at it. I guess I could put Soren here. But that is a little risky as he will be facing some hits. So, uh... But if Soren is in range of Ike, his, their, hit, their chance to hit him should be really low. Hmm. Well, one thing is for sure. I have to put Riss in range of Titania. And then we can use Mists. To shove Soren. I could put Ike right here. Is there someone who can is there someone who is heavy enough to shove Ike? I don't actually know. You can't shove Titania now. However, I will order um There we go. I will order my two scrubs to come here. And we could put we could put Soren here. I don't think he takes much damage. He has 12 rests. These guys do 11 damage, so... 12 damage, so he doesn't actually take any damage. If we if we put Soren right here, I do believe he will be okay. Yeah, I know the fighter, I know, but... Soren can deal with one of them, at least. He can deal with one of them, if we put him right here. But I'm a little bit worried. Okay, this guy's out of range, that's good. I may have already fucked up, we'll see. All right, let's see what happens. Bad idea. Probably. We'll see. Oh, yeah. We can see damage values now. We updated the mod, ladies and gentlemen. So we can see... We can finally see how much damage everyone does, which is nice. 46 hit. I guess it was a little nasty, wasn't it? Okay, beautiful. So she takes down one mage, at least, which is very nice. I don't think the other two mages... No, the other two mages don't move, actually. By the way, I love how Leth is like, don't command us to do anything. By the way, you can command us to do anything. Leth is like, I will never take order from subhuman. Or from human. And then it's like, Ike Sama, please order me. Oh, M. Gibson donated 20 bucks for Super Chat. Hey, Mangs, recently finished on that on Saga. Had an amazing time. Uh, been a while since I played a Fire Emblem game that good. Thank you for your team for an amazing game. Didn't realize how much I missed classic Fire Emblem. Aw, thank you. I hope you enjoyed on that on Saga. That makes me very happy. Vodka Anime donated 50 Mexican dollars for Super Chat. Thank you for on that on. Really enjoyed it. Will there be DLC? Uh, the ROM is completely full, so that's going to be rough, but uh, maybe we'll rebuild it. I am working on a prequel to it, though. Like a short 10-chapter uh, prequel, so... You can look forward to that. Alfred, King of Wessex, donated 5 bucks. Hey, Egg, how many organs would I have to sell you to make you play Rev again? Also, will you do the end of the month game again? I missed that. I don't think... I don't see a realistic scenario where I will play Rev again. Uh, maybe, if there's, like, some kind of special series. I don't know. As for end of game month, yeah, I def that's something I want to get back into. I just gotta decide to do it. Sorry it's taking so long. Manx, do you like only Pepsi? No, no, I drink Monster, too. Alright, so, uh... Let's take a look at this. We... This guy has a Polax, so he needs to die. I'm thinking we send Ike down here. Ooh. Could try the Regal Sword for a crit, maybe. I don't know. Oh, we could ship with... We could ship with freaking... <laughs> oh, maybe not. Maybe not. I right, we'll, we'll ship with Ike. Nothing wrong with that. We'll, we'll try the Regal Sword. We'll try. Maybe we'll get a crit. Ah, we didn't get it. If you fail at this run, you'll have to play... No! Absolutely not. Okay, what if we use the Steel Lance? Ah, Oscar! Your hit rates are so bad, man.
I may have already failed. I think I... Yeah, I think... Okay. Um... Hmm. I may have already failed. I probably already failed. Because this guy's... Yeah, this guy's going to move over here. I should... I needed to have Titania here. And then I needed to have Sora and, like... Unless I do, like, a giant... I, okay, so there is something I can do. If I do, like, a giant shove chain, chain on Soren, there is a chance, maybe. But it, it's it's gonna be tough, because I'll need to kill this guy. Um, and I'll need to not get in his way, too, which is kind of... Uh, because if I shove one, two, three... Soren has five moves, so I'd need to be... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. It is actually possible if I shove him... One, two, three... If I shove him four times... One, two... Can Mist shove Soren? I don't think she can. Can left oh left can probably kill him alright, but that's not the problem here. Um okay, so I think I will actually move in Titania here. Wait, she can? There is a problem though. <laughs> Wait, she can? Yeah, the prob problem is that Rolf is in the way. Shove, shove, shove. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it's... Hmm. Okay. Um, Alright, so I can shove him three times. And then I can shove him... Maybe one more time? So we, sh we shove him one. One time. Two times. Three times. We can almost get there. Like, we can almost get there. If Ike shoves him next turn, he will catch up. Yeah, if Ike shows him ne next turn, he will catch up. He'll need an adept to kill? Yeah, probably. It's possible, though. I mean, it's possible. I'm not coping. Oh my goodness, Sorin continues to level up amazing. Get some strength though, Sorin. That'd be really nice. I put a fighter ban on you for a reason, you know. Um. And then I'll put a javelin on Oscar. Why would you want strength? Because strength counteracts tomes in Path of Radiance. That's why. Alright, here we go. No. Bad. Okay, now he procs this adept. What the hell? It's okay, though. The mages don't do damage to Sora, and I've checked, so. Yeah, the mages are gonna go for Ike. Nothing new there. Okay, that's fine. They don't do that much damage. Now he's gonna run like this, so yeah. If we want... Okay, so I need to kill this Myrmidon, and then I need to shove Soren once. And he'll have two... He needs to pro... <laughs> yeah, he... he. Oh, God. Riss is also, like, out of range, which is not great. Um, I'll need to shove Riss so he can heal Soren. Um, Oscar can kill, which is really nice. This ain't safe. It is safe when I say it's safe! What kind of made on a 50 Mexican dollars for Super Chat? Manx, will you ever play Project Ember Maniac mode? I'm really struggling. No, I'm not. I don't think I'm ever touching Project Ember ever again. Uh, because it's a shit tag. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um, hmm, okay, so if we shove... The most important thing right now, I think, is that this Myrmidon dies. And he can die. Which is good. I just really... Okay, here's the thing, though. If I shove Riss down to heal Soren, he can give support to Titania. One, two, th that won't actually work. Uh, if I shove Riss like this, and again, 
That's five extra hit for Titania, which would actually matter a lot in this case. Yeah, if I could get him... Wait. Yeah, no, we definitely don't want that. This is, this is good enough. There we go. No! No, 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 he's, he's, he's blocking. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, god damn it. That's not great. Uh, can I rescue him with mists? God damn it. Wait, can Mia rescue? Can Mia rescue Riss? Wait, if I shove Mia, she can shove Riss down one space, but that, that's still out of range. Okay, that's actually good. Actually, 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 this works. Wait, Mia already shoved. Fuck. Uh. Shit. Um. One, two, three, four, five. Damn it. I, I can do it. No way, but then, then she can't. Okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Ike shoves, and then Mist, Mist can shove Soren, right? Mist can shove, Mist can, Mist can shove Soren, right? Mist can shove him. Right? Yeah, so what I do, Ike goes here, shoves wrist down, Titania kills here. I shove Mist. Mist shoves Soren. Soldiers can attack Rolf. No, they can't. Um. Maybe I tell Leth to attack this turn so she kills the mage. Mist can't shove Soren. Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that? Are you sure about that, chat? Stop fucking with me. She can. Okay. I hate it when people give wrong advice in chat. It's so annoying. Alright. Alright, so we'll push. Uh oh, they'll be able to attack Rolf. He can take one hit. This guy does 19 damage. Rolf has Yeah, easy. Fuck yeah. Yes! And then we'll put Titania here. And now she gets the 5%. Look at that. Now she gets the 5% uh, hit from Riss. Which is actually pretty important in this situation. There we go. Alright. Now we just got a proc adept. Oh shit, there's a Myrmidon. Oh wait, uh, 14 speed. That's fine. I do have to be careful though, Thunder wastes me down. And I don't double with Thunder. Oh, I don't even double with Wind? What? Aww, what? Okay, so I have to use Wind. Got an error message, that's funny. Okay, uh, well, I could could adept, I guess. It's a possibility, right? Come on! Adept! Damn it! Oh, what did I do with... Oh, shit, I was gonna tell left to kill the mage. Oh, well. It's okay, I still have one more chance to proc adept. I still have one more chance to proc adept. Come on. No adept, okay. Uh oh. Ow. Oh, Rolf might die to the mage. <laughs> Rolf might die to the mage. <laughs> That's funny. Oh well, I guess, I guess I'm not using Rolf. <laughs> That's fine, who cares. A bad unit anyway. Uh oh. Oh, hi, Marsha. You came at a bad point. Uh, I think I might have to ask Leth and Mordecai to attack now, guys. Otherwise, Marsha might die. Alright, let me, uh. 
Let, let me get let me get Rolf on the death counter. Rolf, I don't care about Rolf. He doesn't even come with any equipment. Just bad unit. Like, who who cares? He can die. Training Rolf is a meme. Of course, uh, this guy does have to die. Uh, ugh, not a big fan. Not a big fan. Oof, that sucks. He's blocking me? Really? Might have to do some trade stats here, actually. Anthony BM donated 50 Canadian bucks for Super Chat. Bumping again for another Mang's Friend Escapes Dungeons, where chat makes enemies bosses. Also, pew poo pew poo pew poo. Um, that's, I, I would like to make that. It's not in the works, but I definitely could, we could make it be in the works. All this for a talisman. What, where does the talisman drop? Here or here? I think it's here, right? Yeah, the mage. Oh, the mage is blocking too. What the fuck? What a what a fucking puzzle this difficulty is. My goodness. Um, well, I guess we should kill the fighter at least. So which house has the uh, which house has the talisman? It's this one, right? Uh, so what do we? We okay? We kind we do. Okay, Titania is not in range. She can borrow a javelin from Oscar, but if she does that, then this guy might kill Riss, which is not great. Mia definitely has to run. Riss has like 17 rests, so as long as he doesn't get killed by the fighter, I'm fine. He does 21 damage. So Riss can actually take a he can take a he can actually take the fighter. It's not a big deal really. But we can we can start with the javelin against the Myrmidon. This guy kinda has to die. And then we can send in Titania with the Mermit with the Javelin and we can we can pray and we can hope. And we can pray and we can cope. Come on. Yes! Oh, that's beautiful. So Soren can okay. As long as we as long as we keep out from here, we should be fine. Maybe I'll maybe I'll send Mia over here. She has some swords. I I wouldn't want to lose the sword. So Soren is fine, guys. Oh, he procs. Oh, now he decides to proc adapt. Okay. Okay, and then I think I want to send Riss over here because he doesn't die to these two. Mist does need to go away though. I'll put Mia, you'll go here. Um, Riss goes over here so he can one. Okay, so he can go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I put Riss right here. And then Mist goes over here. Alright. I've ordered Leth to start attacking, so the mage will die. And Mordecai, um... We're just gonna pray he's okay. Oh, shit. Haha, <laughs> vantage. Help! 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 What the fuck? A good level up. Uh, Mordecai's not gonna die to that. Andrew Himabao, donor of five bucks. I know you don't like Path of Radiant Swordmasters, but I'd highly recommend Seahark. A Marim B. Brom gives him about 115 avoid. Average clash enemy has 120 hit. I actually know that Seahark has merit on Maniac mode, because his stats are actually just really good. No! Not Yaroho. No, 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 no. You know your whole heart today. Know your whole heart today. Go 
Go get him, Soren. Go get him. Well, hey, I got the second village at least. I hope that's the one with the talisman in it. That'd be cool. All right. Hello, Marsha. How are you doing? All right. Marsha. Marsha. I have never trained Marsha on uh, Maniac Mode. I just don't find her all that great. I find that her stats are a little too low. She's a little too fright. I know she can be good if trained. I'm not saying she's not. I just, I usually don't have the patience for her, that's all. What's her affinity? She has fire affinity. I guess that's okay. Um, she has good growths, yeah. I mean, if you train her, sure. She'll be okay. But I, I was never a big fan of Marsha. Uh, she comes with a Pegasus band. Let's see what that does again. Uh, let's see. Pegasus band is luck and rest. That sucks. Okay. So, uh, I just, I find her too frail for Maniac Mode in general. I mean, Flyers are nice, don't get me wrong. I just very seldom find a reason to train her, that's all. No, I'm not checking by rhythm. Vodka donated uh, 20 Mexican dollars to Super Chat, thank you. Uh, uh, uh. So yeah, I, I, I don't know about Marsha. I mean, like, I feel like one of these days I should give her a chance. I just, I never have the patience for it. Because this is a part of the game where her stats just don't work that well. I don't know. Anyway, I might, I maybe I should have, oh, yeah. Mia is probably dead, isn't she? Actually, there's a chance Leth might kill the soldier. Leth, uh, if you wouldn't terribly mind, would you maybe kill that soldier so Mia... I mean, I'll throw javelins at these guys. Why not, right? Forge her a lance. I guess you kind of have to. What I do like about her, she can do hit and run attacks like this, which is kind of cool, honestly. Ooh, I don't like that 1% crit, but it's not going to kill him. Alright, so the question is, who's gonna who's gonna grind on the pirates? Uh, I guess Ike is an option, but preferably it should be someone with a bit more. Would like one someone with swords. Sorry, sorry, Mia. <laughs> I guess I'll send Titania. I'll send Titania here just in case something happens with Soren. Come on, yeah, Mordecai, save Mia, save Mia, save Mia. Why isn't the combat display working? Oh, there we go. It was just a, it was just a little delayed for whatever reason. There you go. As you can see, less than more. You got almost tried to get Mordecai killed. Yes, I know I got him killed last time. There's a lot of pirates coming in. A lot of this maniac mode has like 50 extra pirates waves. It's crazy. Train Mia on the pirates. If there is a if there is a place to train Mia, it's definitely on the pirates. I I do I do think some of them one shot her though. If I'm gonna be completely honest. So we got hand axes. We probably gotta prepare for that, I'd say. Uh, I don't. Here's the thing. I I don't know if I I'd like. Uh, Soren is kind of out of position here, which is a little bit scary. Some of these guys got hand axes, which is incredibly annoying to deal with. So I think what I'll do is I will put Titania here with her hand axe, and I'll, I'll kill the hand axe pirate. Let's give some healing experience to Mists. Is Camp Defense Gatry good once he returns? I think he'll be serviceable. I think he'll be. I think he'll be okay. Yeah, I don't see why. I, I don't see why not. And this is basically just. <sighs> you see, this is why I don't like Marsha. 
Because of shit like this! Okay, never mind. She did get the kill. But I gotta get Soren. I, I guess they will go for the village if I don't rescue it, but I'll, I'll try to drag them over there, I suppose. But I really don't like fighting pirates on the sand, because uh, once you do... Ah. Oh, wow. Wow. Okay. Good one, Mordecai. Wait, is it Markia? It's Marsha, right? It's not Markia. That's stupid. Ah, shit, some of them are going for Soren. That's not good. Yeah, you see, a sand actually gives you a ton of voids. So it's a very annoying place to fight this a pirate. But I guess it, it also gives you some, uh... Ugh. I guess a Venonax. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh... Maybe I have no choice but to attack here. Just gonna make sure it's not in range of any other pirates. Thunder has a small chance to crit, but... Okay, I won't get double, so maybe I'll just Thunder him. Hey, Manx, remember me? Yeah, I do, Sawyer. You pop into every one of my stream and say you're, say that I'm your favorite YouTuber. How could I How could I not remember you? Uh, okay, I'll kill the Hand Axe, and then I'll slowly back off. Why did you attack with Thunder? To weaken him. Waste him down. Not that much. Doesn't weigh him down that much. We'll be fine. Also, I should give a ban to Mist before she levels up, probably. Probably not a bad idea. Also, I should tell... Uh, I should tell Lethan Mordecai to, to come towards me, actually. No, 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 come back here, 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 come back here. 27 chance to hit, okay, that's not so bad. If I remember correctly, there is one more wave of pirates, or maybe I'm misremembering that. Scallywags of the sea are we. Oh, wow, this guy gives a lot of experience. Okay, 27% chance to hit, okay. No, Leth! Go away! Okay, we gotta tell him to avoid. Take evasive action. Evasive action! There you go. Man, do you guys look how trippy the water looks in this game? Whoa. 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 Trippy. Very trippy. Um. Okay. I guess we can go and heal Mia. I don't think any of these guys... Why am I using Mia? Why am I- why do I care what Mia does? I don't. I don't care. I don't care what Mia does. Ask chat? I, I don't care. 36% chance to hit. That's lovely. That is just lovely. That is just lovely. Just lovely. Yo ho ho. Max, don't forget the bands on Mia. I don't really know what I'd give her, honestly. Hey, I got defense and strength and skill and oh, what a Giga Chad! What a Giga Chad! This Ike is incredible. My goodness, this Ike is absolutely incredible. 
This Ike is absolutely incredible. Run, 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 run. No, he got hit. Wait, actually, that's good. He got poisoned. That means I can heal him five times with mists. Nice. Skill, defense, and rest. Okay. Is Makalov good? He's okay if you train him. <coughs> he is a paladin. Oh, nice. Poison damage. I should have intentionally poisoned myself. Okay, what's this? Don't... Oh, it's the talisman. Yes. Oh, I got the talisman. I got the talisman, guys. I got the talisman. I'm so proud of myself. I've never gotten the talisman. <coughs> Give it to me. Yeah. <coughs> I don't think I've ever gotten the talisman before. <coughs> Never, ever, ever gotten the talisman before. Let's see. Do, are these guys injured? We could probably go over here with mist and heal, right? The restore staff requires basically perfect play. Yeah, that's what I got. Oh, shit. Wait, there's a fighter right underneath me. I just realized this. Okay, <laughs> I forgot about that guy. My goodness, I forgot about that guy. Extra money is good. You think I should sell it, chat? You think I should sell it, chat? Fine, I'll give a kill to Mia. Oh shit, I gave her the boss kill. That's almost a full level, what the hell. All right, it's time to uh, it's time to move towards the final destination. I'm wondering if maybe I should bring the Lagoose with me. They can be nice to have around, I think. I think I'm gonna give it to Ike. Yeah, I do think I'm gonna give the talisman to Ike. Okay, well that's a crit. Can I tell them to like guard him? Uh. Come with us. I think it's okay to have the Lagoose with you in case something goes wrong. Like, they can act as, like, sacrificial pawns or whatnot. I will say, though, guys, this this chapter right here, it might be one of my least favorite Path of Radiance chapters. It's just... I don't know what it is about it. It's just kind of meh. The pirate section and the normal section, they feel so far removed from each other. Feels like they should be two separate maps, honestly. I love this chapter. The sand kind of slows you down, which doesn't make any sense. Like, I understand I understand it would slow down mounds, actually, but it doesn't make any sense that you... Have you ever walked on a beach? It's not hard. Like, oh, I... Uh, I, I it's these people never... I, I mean, I, they were made by nerds in Japan, so I kind of get it. But still... I go straight to the fort. Well, what happens to the pirates on the beach? Do they just, like, hang around? Okay, we have a rare opportunity here, ladies and gentlemen. We have a, we have a very rare opportunity here, ladies and gentlemen. A very rare opportunity right here. <laughs> Oh no, I'm not gonna do that. Uh, a quite rare opportunity indeed. It's time for archer abuse. Actually, yeah, now they'll they'll attack Ike now. That Earth affinity is already coming in pretty pretty good. Ow. 57% chance to hit. Ow, wow. Ow. Ow, 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 that kind of hurt. Time to bring Oscar to the front lines, I guess. Ow. Okay, can you stop that? 
I don't think Sword's quite in range yet, which is a bit of a shame. I guess I'll uh, heal with... Uh, I'll heal Oscar and then I'll just rescue him away, I think. There we go. And then we'll bring in... Uh, Marsha can probably just chill here now. This isn't good. Speak for yourself. I'll just drink a vulnerary, I think. Oh, I don't have one. Uh, oops. I guess, can someone take my place? Uh, can Mist heal without dying? Uh, ew. I guess I kind of have to keep him here. I mean, it's a, it's the Steel Lance. It's a Steel Lance for 13 damage plus the Archer. That's fine, right? I can even, I can even unequip Ike, too. I can unequip Ike so that he doesn't get Weapon Triangle. He can deal with that, surely. Yeah, easy. Easy money. Easy money. Ow. Time for a new run. Oh, I would be devastated if I had to reset now. Please don't even joke about that, please. Oh no, he's no longer poisoned. But, but, ladies and gentlemen, we do have... Okay, should I maybe... Should I equip a new ban on her? I feel like I should equip a new ban on her. Oh shit, okay, we have to kill the archer now. <laughs> Sorry, Marsha. I kind of have to do this now. Maybe we'll do a... Uh, ooh, Weiss. Okay, I guess Thunder is the best. Oh, nice adapt. Let's go. Mangs, Mia or Marsha? I think Marsha's probably better. Uh, can Oscar kill this guy? This guy does what? He does 16 damage. She can take that. Oh yeah, Marsha has more merit because she's a flyer. And I don't mean to sound like one of those, oh, if you fly, you're immediately S tier kind of guys. Uh, but, like, that is definitely better for her, I'd say. See? Easy. A little bit of sister abuse, never hurt anyone. Slurp, slurp me a pits. Yeah, good, good, to, good, to, good chat. It's glad, glad to see you guys are in, are in form today. I, I was kind of worrying, you know? Like maybe chat didn't feel so good, or maybe you weren't quite yourselves, and then it's like, slurp, slurp me a armpits, yummy, yummy. Everything's back the way it used to be. I should have given her a strength band before giving her that level up. That was kind of dumb. Oh well. Magic, skill, and speed. Okay, let's go. Not bad, not bad. Let's go. Oh, that's some nice damage there, Sorin. Let's go. Level up for Soren. Come on, get some strength. Aw, oh, come on, my man. You got a strength ban on you. Come on, Soren. You got a strength ban on you. You can do better than that. Okay, I think I can probably kill with the Regal Sword now. I think I'm just gonna... Yeah, I'll play it safe. I'll just kill him. With the ban, he has like 10% strength. Still worth it, I think. Still worth it. Yeah, okay. Still no defense on Ike, which is not great. Kinda wish he leveled defense, but, uh, you know, what can you do? Mangs, which fetish is worth? Feet or armpit? I think they're both equally degenerate, but if I had to pick one, I would probably say armpits. There is something very wrong with people who like armpits. I'm sorry, Chad. I'm sorry, Chad. You know it's true. You're not trying to deny it, okay? Oh, the iron sword broke. You you know there's something wrong with you. You just... You know that you're shunned by society, but you, but you embrace that part of yourself, you know? You're like, yeah, I am a weirdo. 
Manx prefers feet? No, I'm... You guys are the worst. Alright, so we're gonna get a, a million reinforcements here. So what I like to do here is I like to send in... This is kind of where Oscar can get a pretty nice chunk of experience with a javelin, I'd say. We'll wait until he gets good by... Fuck, I literally just said biorhythm. I don't think these guys move right away. Now we'll wait for the biorhythm to go up. Come on, come on. Come on. Come on. Why is this biorhythm so shit? Takes too long. Alright, uh, fuck it. I don't care about biorhythm. So we'll ward Oscar up, we'll send him in there with the javelin. Uh, thing is, there's gonna be a million guys spawning. Like, literally, on Maniac mode, you get like a like an absolute gazillion people coming out of there, which really sucks. So you wanna be a little bit careful about that. They can actually end up surrounding you if you're not careful. Yeah, so that guy attacks. I think the mages attack? I don't remember, but yeah, there we go. There they are. Just a gazillion guy spawning at once. A literal grillion guy spawning. Uh, but I don't think... Yeah, some of them have javelins, so if you want to heal, you're going to have to rescue, but that's okay. So all we need to do is just pick up mist like this. Soren can attack from the other side of the bush, I think. This is fine. And Marsha can actually do, like, hit and runs here, which... If you're... As long as you're careful about it. Good map design? Not really. I kind of hate this part. There you go. Good level up, Oscar. Let's go! Strike skill, speed, defense! Let's go! Let's go! This is it, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. Oh, crap. Oh, those guys just... Oh. God damn it. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. We gotta kill the Javeliners. That's fine, though. Oh, this is great. Okay, so we can actually kill the Javeliners like this. This is fine. Ooh, Marsha might actually be able to get the game. Okay, you know what? Fine. Fine! We'll give her a damn ban. I'll give her the... Wait, she, ha she has a ban. What the hell? She, she already has a ban. It's, it's fine. Seven. Okay, that's a 1% crit, so fuck that. There you go. Look at me giving Marsha kills. Uh, the Pegasus Bans is, is like rest lock. It sucks. It's horrible. Uh, TX don't have five bucks. It's still possible to use ranged units to grind bosses for levels in Maniac. I remember getting like nine levels with Astrea on the Fog Boss. I think so. If you use Soren, like if you use a two range, yeah. I, I think the boss heals a little bit. Not much though, but just just tiny, just a tiny bit. Why do Pegasus Knights suck so much? Uh. Because they really, like, they're like, they fly, so they can't be good. I don't know. Let's look at what they did to Har and Radiant Dawn, I guess. But yeah, you kind of just have to grind your way through these packs. You can't really kill them with anyone else. You just gotta get some tanky units to do it. They fly now! Giving kills to Mia and Marsha on the same chapter. I know, right? I know. It's weird. It's really weird. So yeah, this is like one of the reasons why Maniac Mode is a little bit dumb. <laughs> this this part right here. Can you imagine playing this without speed up and like no uh and with animations on? Let me tell you, it's not gonna be enjoyable. You'd have to be a maniac to enjoy this mode. I know, right? And I am. 
You know, getting Soren's Thunder rank up is actually not terrible. I know it sounds like a bit of a lol thing to say, but... Uh, getting Bolting on Soren actually isn't terrible. Let's get Strength. Yes! Oh! That's what I'm talking about! That's effectively two points of speed he got there. <coughs> Which is really nice. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Rex Bolt Soren. <laughs> oh, let's go. That's the best. Oh. So these mages, I'm pretty sure they do not move at all. Oh, I didn't put a band on this. Alright, she got speed though. Yeah, I need to put a band on her. I don't know which one though. I guess the priest band? Yeah, these, these mages do not move, so... They're basically free weapon rank training for Soren. Yeah, he leveled speed twice, essentially. It's really nice, actually. Alright, well, uh, I guess I'll take the, uh, the priest band? I don't know. Does she come with Miracle, or did I forget that? No, she does have it. She does have it, actually. Train Marsha on the mages? Uh, I guess. I don't know. I don't, I'm not gonna use Marsha, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just not. Like, I, like I'm not... <laughs> she sucks. I'm sorry, guys, but she does. Who are you going to give, to give the boss arm scroll to? I almost- I don't know, honestly. I like giving arm scroll to units after they promote, because then you can raise both of their weapons. Honestly, Soren is a really nice candidate for an arm scroll, because he gets, like, plus rank in staves and all three magic types, uh, which is actually really nice. You gotta just time it so that he does it right after leveling up a recent weapon rank. Marsha isn't the best, but she absolutely does not suck. Well, are, so it's very important to know what difficulty are you talking about now. Are you talking about Maniac Mode or Hard Mode? Because units that are good on Hard Mode are not necessarily good on Maniac Mode. Hit point. Oh, let's go. 15 magic on Soren. This is crazy. This is amazing. She's still one of the best on Maniac Mode? Really? No. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. It only races the one you have equipped. I'm pretty sure it races all of them. I'm pretty sure it... Uh, oh, never mind. Cur level of currently equipped weapon. You're right. Alright, so... What does this guy have? He has a Javelin and 14 speed. I guess as long as I stand next to Soren, I should be fine, right? Like, Ike will protect Soren from critical hit. Oh, already got a staff rank up on Mists. Very nice. There you go. Oh, nice, nice add up. Let's go. So, with 14 speed, and he gets way down too, so he has 12. Yeah, this is fine. As long as I have Soren stand next to Ike, it should be fine. Okay, yeah, he does heal, so you could, you could in theory, a boss abuse him if you wanted to. Mist Arm Scroll. The Mist Sonic Sword build is such a meme, guys. You don't like Marsha because I short him. I will admit, Marsha is far from my favorite Pegasus Knight design. Magic, skill, luck, resistance. Let's go. Alright. Well, I think we've been here long enough, guys. I think we've been here long enough. Oh, hi, Alinsha. How are you doing? 
No bonus experience! <laughs> Zero bonus experience, you guys. <laughs> Zero. <laughs> Ronald, how are you doing? He gives you this. Our sugar daddy shows up, gives us some money. Theo, this is who donated one hundred and ninety super chat. Every level maniac gets, you get one pound. Wow, I can make a lot of pounds from that. All right. Uh, oh wow, I've never noticed having to scroll down on this list before. That's funny. All right. Does Volk cost money? I don't remember, actually. I don't think Volk... I think Volk just offers to join you, right? But he, he charges per lock that you uh, that you do. Uh, what is the... Uh, God, what is the battle preparation music of Path of Radiance called again? I forget. Uh, God, what do you guys remember? What it's called? Do you guys remember what it's called? I forgot. Memes. It's not called memes. For victory, is it really? Oh, it is. Wow, thank you. <laughs> I was looking for I, I was like, I don't remember what it's called. For victory, that's funny. Oops, sorry, I had to. It crashed. It's called Never Gonna Give You Up. Yeah, that's what it's called. I remember now. And this is the this is the prison break chapter. I will say this right now, ladies and gentlemen, I do not intend to stealth this chapter. I've already done that. It takes like three hours to do. It doesn't even give you anything good. It gives you 700 bonus experience, which isn't... Like, yeah, sure, that's like seven levels for Braum, but... It, it takes so long. I, I, oh, and it's like, if you fuck up, you lose a unit. Alright, so, let's see. So, yeah, we get two new units, though. We might as well talk about them a little bit. I like Gleth. She's okay. She's, uh, she's, she's an okay unit. Uh, she does fall off a little bit by the mid-game, but I like that she tr transforms instantly. She deals a lot of damage. Just gotta pay attention to her, uh, just gotta pay attention to her gauge, and you should be fine. You can take the beer guard off her. I think that's... That only, like, protects her against, like, anti lagoose weapons, right? <sighs> she has a racist guard, yeah. She's, pro she's like, technically a pre-promoted unit, though, so she will level very slowly. Uh, Mordecai is a unit that I think, if it weren't for Miraim, I'd definitely give him a go, but Miraim just joins with so much better stats than, Mor than Mordecai could ever hope to have. So I'll use him for what he's worth. I like I like smiting units with him, and then just kind of bench him once he falls off. You could try using him in the late game. I mean, he does have good growths, and he does have many levels to grow. But Mordimer. <laughs> oh, that's that's Mariam's growths. Never mind. Here's Mordecai's growths. Yeah, like 150 HP is pretty cool. And he's got good growths in all areas because he's a Lagoose. They grow really well. It's just kind of their thing. But uh, but I'm not. I'm not a. I'm. I, 
I don't know. Like, I like him, but he falls off. He always falls off, especially on Maniac Mode. He's just not fast enough. Muarim? Yeah, I say Muarim. I'm sorry about this. You, you guys know I can't help it. I say weird things. Alright, so we do have some forges now, and while I do like forging for Clash, we don't have to do that right away. I like to forge for units that I plan on using. Um, I think we can forge a lance for Brom, maybe, for the next chapter. Or we could forge a lance for Oscar, for when he needs one. Honestly, like, steel lances are gonna be... Like, um... Lances are gonna be useful for a while. So, I don't know what's best to forge, a steel lance or an iron lance. Like, statistically, I guess the steel lance is probably better. I think we're gonna forge ourselves a, a maximum steel lance with maximum hit and, uh, and, and, and attack. It's just very nice to have. So, mm -mm. we're gonna use a lot of lances. So, all right, guys, what should we call it? Steel L. <laughs> Name it Mia. Sorry. What should we call it? Degeneracy. Rose Thorn, I like that. No! Rose Thorn! Aww. It's too long. Should probably keep money for Walk. Well, Walk doesn't cost any money, though. <laughs> Anal Buster. Uh, all right. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna point on the screen, right? So, and I don't care how unsuitable the name is. Okay, actually. Okay, so this is what we'll do. This is what we'll do. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so what we're gonna do is... Let's see... How are we going to do this? Can we... It, it, this it's much more funny if we do it this way. Okay, I have an idea. I have I have a very funny idea. This is gonna be so uns this is gonna be so this is such a bad idea. But what we're gonna do is this gonna okay. So I'm gonna pop out the chat. And I'm gonna put it on screen, and we're, I'm I'm just gonna I'm, I'm gonna freeze the chat at a certain point, and whoever is, I'm gonna call it whatever. As long as it doesn't get me like banned from YouTube. As long as it doesn't get me banned from YouTube. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna call it whatever. <laughs> whatever it is when we stop. Okay? Alright, so. Three. Two. <laughs> one. And it's gonna be named. What? What does it say here? Perry Gia, fuck. <laughs> Perry, <laughs> Perry Gia. 
Uh, oh shit, it froze. What? Oh no! Oh my god, I forgot to save. I'm sorry. I guess we, d we can't do it now. Alright. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, so we're gonna forge. So we forged the Perry GF Lance. Let's see. Perry. What was it? Was it Perry GF? It was, yeah, it was lower capitalized. Perry. How do I... How do I, how do I do like a no symbol here? I don't think I can, can I? How do you do like a, how do you do like a, hmm. Check the other languages. Oh, cool, I can do it. Yeah, if I... No, wait. Hmm. I, I don't think I can do, like, uh... I guess we'll, we'll just have to do Perry GF in one, like... Like so. Alright. R2? <laughs> no, we'll do parry gif. It's fine. Uh, let's make it, uh... Let's make it pink. Alright, there we go. This is this is a horrible idea for Forges. I'm going to regret this. I'm, go I'm going to regret this. Alright, so I think we give... Uh, I think we give, honestly, like, Talisman goes to Ike. I think this is a... It's just a nice no-brainer. Just... Have him not die to try to have him not die. That would be that would be nice. Um, give the archer band to Mia, and we can give the. I guess we can give the thief band to Mordecai. Here we go. Oscar will die and lose the lance. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. All right, so what do we need to buy? What do we need to buy? Uh, definitely gonna stock up on some hand axes. We, like, you go through a lot of these, so you might as well have a lot in your inventory. Um, probably not a bad idea to have a couple of iron lances and a couple of iron axes in your inventory as well. Like, we know we're gonna go through a lot of these, so it doesn't hurt, I think. Another Thunder Tome as well. Couple heal staves would be nice. Keep 10,000 for Volk. Does he ask for 10k? I don't remember. Does he really do that? I think you guys are misremembering that. Alright, we'll do meme review after this chat. Yeah, no, I think you guys are just misremembering. I think you guys are really misremembering. Hey. Hey. Uh, sorry about this. Uh, Sorry, just dolphin being dolphin again.
Sorry, just dolphin being dolphin again. Nothing I can do about it. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. There's dolphin. What? Come on. Are you serious? Come on! Come the fuck on, Dolphin! Why are you like this? Is there a way to, like, go back? Is there a way to go back? I tr I'm trying to reset the game. It doesn't work. It, it freezes. I'm so fucking tired of this emulator, man. Ah. Reset the PC. No, it doesn't. It doesn't work. I'm so fucking tired of this stupid emulator. It, it crashed in a save. So it's it's like when I load the save, it like still crashes. Open your save file. Yeah, how though? It won't respond to anything. Yeah, okay, when I- okay, so, when I open and load the emulator normally, I'll show you what happens. Okay, so... I'll show you what happens. It- it take- it brings me back to the old one. Because it- it should. Wait, restart? Oh, thank God. Oh, thank goodness. Oh. 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 Thank goodness. <laughs> oh. Thank goodness. Oof. That scared me. That scared me. Alright, we're gonna hire Volk, obviously. Alright, Volk! Mr. Volk! Uh, I would say he is probably one of the more important units in, uh, in Path of Radiance, because he can promote, unlike, um... He can promote, and once his strength gets high enough, he can steal items. He can steal physics staves and the like, which is so nice. So, uh, definitely, I think I'm gonna give him a strength band, possibly. To try and get his strength as high up as possible, so he can, like, yoink weapons. But yeah, Volk is super important to train. Uh, he has, like, a story promotion in Chapter 16 or 17, I don't remember. But definitely use him as much as possible. What does the prison chest have? I don't remember. But yeah, uh, Volk is super important to train, and I will train him. Alright, who can I bring? Who can I bring? Uh, definitely not Marsha, definitely not Mia. I guess I'll bring Leth and Mordecai. Maybe I'll give the... The Night Band gives... I need to figure out, okay, which band gives, uh, which band gives strength? Fighter band gives strength, knight band also gives strength. I think we'll give the, the knight band to Volk, honestly. And then maybe I can get... Archer band, maybe? Hanako, I'm not doing stealth. Fuck off. Y 
Yeah, I got the per yeah, I got the Perry gear, Jeff. I was able to load my save. Thank goodness I was. I'm not I'm not doing stealth again, guys. It is the absolute worst experience. It is the absolute worst experience. Unless you guys really want me to. No, 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 no. No, I'm not gonna get roped into stealthy. Ah. Oh. I hate it. It makes me so nervous. I'll do a poll. It it will take forever. You guys realize that, right? It it, it takes forever. You guys realize how long it takes. We'll be here for like two hours. Just vote with that in mind, okay? You guys sure? Okay, all right. Five, I'll just count 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and poll. Oh my goodness, 56% says, thank God. Oh my goodness, that fucking scared me. That scared me. My goodness. However, there there is a there is a tradition. There is a tradition. Wait, wait. Oh, my battle preps didn't get saved. What the hell? Hmm. Don't like but don't like ba people backseat drive. This is your Iron Man. I I I like to do what the crowd wants, but it's good to know that you guys voted against it. Honestly, you use Mia? No. I hate doing stealth, but I voted for it to make Mike suffer. You guys are the worst. All right. So I'm just gonna I'm just. Really? Don't know why the emulator is so. Maybe. Oh, I think I know what I'm. What I need to do actually. I need to. Uh, need to feed more memory into the dolphin. There we go. Close some programs in the background probably helps. There we go. It's better. Wow! It crashed again. Something about certain maps that it really doesn't like. Alright, so I think what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'll just literally just pull this guy immediately. I'll pull him with Volk. And then I'll just form a little wall here. I think I'm gonna give the word staff to Mists. Oh shit, she can't use it yet. What the hell? Didn't she level up her stuff? Is it C rank? Oh my goodness. No, I'm not doing pull for Mia. Shut up. There you go. Failed stuff. <laughs> Wait, is it ambush bomb? Wait, what? Ah! Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Oh my goodness, that scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. Whew. 
Ooh. Wow. Okay, I completely forgot about that. My goodness, I completely forgot about that. Why can't she heal? Oh, he didn't take damage. Oh my goodness. Why are you so bad, man? Why are you so bad? These soldiers are actually surprisingly tanky. Theodicity, do not have Stealth, 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 stealth. Sorry, democracy reigns supreme. You got outvoted, my friend. You got outvoted. Uh, wow, this... It actually surprises me how tanky these soldiers are. Maybe Oscar will miss one here. Or not. Hit points, skill, and defense. No, you cannot get a poll for Mia. Stop asking for it. My goodness. Some of you just don't take a no for an answer. Don't you always ignore democracy? Oh, when it suits me. Just like every political leader in the world. <laughs> uh, you know, democracy is nice when my side <laughs> wins. That's, uh, that's how it goes. Guess we'll pull in this guy as well. I will let Leth deal with him, I think. Are these guys ambush spawns on Maniac only, or is this a hard mode thing, actually? Because I... I don't remember. They are always ambush spawns? Okay, alright. Oh, wow, Ike, will you slow down? He's doubling Myrmidons, my goodness. Ike is angry, my goodness. Roger Master 42 donated 499 to Super Chat. Hey Mangs, it's been a while since I watched your video, but it's my first time seeing a live stream. I really hope you get this rooting from El Salvador. El Salvador, that is such a kick ass name. El Salvador? It sounds like you're a conquistador. It's like amazing. Anyone else from El Salvador in chat? Ah. Ooh, nice. Kill for Volk. Let's go. Gotta be a little careful, though. There are archers about, and he's a little squishy. El Salvador. Yes, I am. Double D is from El Salvador. Nice username. Um, I'll pick Volk up like this. Okay, we do have to kind of finish up here because we're going to get flanked very soon. So we have to try and... Uh, let's try and kill the archer. <laughs> I'm the president of El Salvador. Cool. The president of El Salvador watches my content. It, it means the savior. Oh, wow. El Salvador means the savior. I guess it kind of does sound like that, doesn't it? More like Volk's swagging. Oh, Ephraim, I hate you. Volk's swagging. Oh, Ephraim, you should be arrested. Alright, alright. Oh, wow, that guy died. Oh, my goodness. Oh, boy, here comes the Spanish speakers in chat. They're taking over. Yeah, 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 all right, let's go another Ike level up. Skill, defense, resistance. Okay, all right. Getting rest on Ike. I don't hate that. Yeah, 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 yeah. There are two. There are two certainties in this world: death, taxes, and that. Spanish people, Spanish-speaking people will say, yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, that's three. Fuck. Three, <laughs> there are three certainties in this world. Right. 
you know, once I, you, you guys know the video I uploaded a little while back on my channel, that's called like seven things I want with Fire Emblem. Turns out it was only six, I just didn't count properly. <laughs> so I, I had to change the video title. <laughs> <laughs> I had to change, I had to, I had to change the video. That's kind of funny. That is kind of funny. It's a chill music. I like it. Very chill. Wow, Mordecai mad. Okay, I think it's time for Ike to take a back seat here. Let's. Uh, should we tank with Volk? That sounds like a good idea. Gotta give, I gotta give Volk some uh, some experience, guys. Who does he support with? If I remember correctly, Volk like supports with no one because he hates everybody or something. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll actually. I think Titania can kill this. Uh, might not be such a bad idea to. Maybe I'll just keep Titania here, honestly. I think I'll give him a. Volk's resistance is really shit. So if he's gonna do this, then I think I need to do this. He only supports with Bastion. My goodness, that's awful. That is terrible. Oh, okay. So, yeah, he's still in range. That's good. Would you say FE9 is more fun than FE7? It, it's fun in a different way. I mean, you guys know I... Like, I, I just want to beat Maniac Mode, man. <laughs> That's all I want to do. I just want to beat Maniac Mode, man. I, I do think I like FE7 more than FE9, but FE9 has climbed very far up my lists lately. Why Bastion can't do staves? I actually okay, so this is actually really cool, and I like it. So how Maniac Mode uh, or how Path of Radiance balances sages is that if you want a sage with a staff, you're gonna have to train it yourself. This is actually genius game design because uh, one problem I do have with sages in general is that they are so broken and they very often tend to be better than the mages in the same game because they come with staves and healing uh, and, and tome rank for free. But in Path of Radiance, the game is basically saying uh, you can have a you can have a sage that heals, but you're gonna have to, to train and promote them yourself. We're not just gonna give one to you, and that's why Khalil and Bastion comes with daggers. Uh, and the only thing the only thing I don't like about it is that some idiots will definitely Some idiots will definitely pick daggers on promotion and think it's good. So it, it, it's a bit of a troll But I think it's a fantastic way to I don't know if that was their intention, but if it was I think that's actually really cool All right, so I guess it it's probably better to break the doors open, right? I like it. It doesn't cost money if we do that. I mean, we need we need Volk to get a couple chests here and there, but there are some. No, Dagger Soren is not good. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You're wrong. Okay, I see you, that person in chat who, and I, I think the joke is that you actually think he's good. Uh, he, he's, it's not, okay? S stop it. Stop it. Get some help. Get some help right now. You're clearly not well. Daggers. So no! No, I will not hear you out! You are wrong! You are, you are not mentally with it, okay? I will not hear you out. No arguments, okay? Stop it. Right now. Fun fact, you do actually get a little bit of bonus experience for rescuing Sephiroth, so I will bring him with me. Fun fact about Sephiroth, if you view his stats, you can actually see that he does have the mantle skill, so it was kind of foreshadowed, which I think is kind of cool. We do, wait, oh shit, wait, did I bring, okay, I brought, okay, yeah, Oscar. Oscar recruits, or actually, he doesn't recruit. I have to rescue them, which is kind of dumb, but that's how it is. It's crazy how much less time. It's crazy how much less time it takes to not stealth this chapter. Like, stealthing the chapter once you learn how to do it is not necessarily very difficult. Does any of these guys have javelins? No. Oh, do I. Do I sense. Oh, Volk leveling, let's go. Yes! 
Volk and Mist leveling, let's go! Yeah, this is Metal Gear music. Wait, what? Huh? Oscar, how'd you do that? Oh, he had a key on him! God, <laughs> He had a key on him, that's, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that's funny. I didn't mean to do that. Ooh, it's a little scary to do this. Okay, Volk level up, let's go. Ah, strength. Strength is actually very important on Volk because he can't... He needs it to steal heavy weapons. So, the higher Volk's strength is... He also needs speed to steal, but strength primarily. Because a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, enemies have, like, secondary weapons on Maniac Mode, so you can, like, steal Silver Axes and stuff. It's really nice, actually. Um, anyway, let's go get and get Kieran. We won't get him in this chapter, though, sadly. But I won't... I'm not gonna bother telling them to run until I've cleared the whole person out. You seem stressed today? I'm not stressed. What are you talking about, Hanukkah? Do I look stressed to you, hmm? Hmm? Do I look- do I look fucking stressed to you? No, I'm not. Does this look like a, a face that's stressed? Hmm? I think this chapter stresses- I think this chapter stresses me out a little bit, honestly. Cause, like, even though I'm not stealthing, I- I feel the- Really?! Soren, you pleb! Oh, we have to recruit Rom too. You're right about that. Yeah. Oh wow! Look at look at Volk go. Look at Volk go. Yoink. Let's uh, heal him up a little bit. This is nice experience for Mist, so I honestly don't mind it. I don't I don't remember when those three armor knights move, but it's probably. I think we'll just let Oscar deal with them. Okay, so uh, we did talk to Kieran. That's good. We do probably need to go and uh, recruit Braum with Ike. That's kind of important. I'll send Titania in here. I, I do think they move. I'm not, I don't remember 100%, but I think they do. Oh no, they don't. Do you need to attack them maybe? I think maybe once you attack them, then they move. Valkyrie mists. I mean, that's the idea, I guess. Can you break? Yeah, you can. Fire should be effective against doors, in my humble opinion. But hey, you, you know what you can, you can do? Which is kind of nice. You can, um, you can you can use the doors to level Soren's weapon rank. <laughs> the boss enemies move, do move once you enter their attack rank. Yeah, that I know, but clearly these guys don't, so... I guess I'll just... Go fetch the boss with Titania, weaken him a little bit. Yeah, I'll, I'll level Thunder rank on <laughs> on the door. <laughs> I'll just open this one. Though. Actually, you know what? Volk, fuck you. I'm not paying you 50 gold. You break through. You know what? That is gonna take forever. All right, we got we got Brom. Mangs, did you get my dono? Yes, I just ignored it. Uh, joking. Noel, don't notify bug. Mangs, is your deal still in effect? Makalov deserves what's coming from. Sure, you pay me money, I'll kill Makalov for you. Sounds good. I'll even kill him with Marsha if I can. Ex actually, that might be hard since I'm not using Marsha, so. Oh wow, would you look at that? It crashed. Good thing I always save. Um. Kill him with Astrid? No, wait, what? Oh shit, no, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, that's fine. Oh. Oh yeah, proc counter. Woo! <coughs> 
Baltasar donated 10 bucks to Super Chat. Finally finished <clears throat> my custom CO. I'm just waiting to hear back from the library to find out if they have enough space to store the write-up of the day-to-day -day power. Oh my goodness, that's a good Titania level. I'm also waiting on another two libraries for the power and superpower. Wait, what? Huh? <clears throat> Baltasar donated 10 bucks. Wait, what? I finally finished my custom CO. I'm just waiting to hear back from the library to find out, find out if we have enough spares to store the right... What? What are you talking about? Library? What library? Huh? I don't get it. Yeah, the, sta the statue... The statue frag you sell. That's... That's uh, that's a not... Boy! I don't know what it is with Dolphin. It does not like this map. It does not like this map at all. It does not like this map at all. I don't know why. It just doesn't. There's so there's some maps that Dolphin just doesn't tolerate. Rainy maps, foggy maps, and apparently this map. It hates this map. It, yeah, it's the speed up that really gets it, for sure. I know, I know. It's the speed up that gets it. It doesn't like the speed up. But there's also something with the graphics down here that it really doesn't like. And I can tell. It's very, very obvious. Well, son, I think it's fair. Can Sorin attack through the walls? I don't... He can, can't he? I'm pretty sure he can. It might be the shadows, yeah. Baltasar donated five bucks. I'm making fun of all the custom CO submissions that have pages and pages of text. Oh, you're being funny. Oh, you should have said so. Um, right, yeah, uh, yeah, see, <laughs> I, I do remember the custom CO competition. That was, um... Ooh, I mean, something really cool came out of it. I mean, we made an entire ROM hack. By the way, for those who don't know, Ephraim just released an update with Manx Fans Force. He's added custom CO themes to every single CO in the game, which is actually really cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, that's that custom CO competition was... Um, I liked it. It had its... It definitely had its moments. But my goodness, it drove me kind of insane too. I spent an entire... What the f... Really, Oscar? You... Really, Oscar? Okay. I remember I spent an entire night, and I went through 500 submissions. And I started to physically want to hurt myself after reading about the 100th Forest CO. Uh, I actually kind of wanted to die. And I started to, like, laugh. I started laughing, I remember. I, I was like, <laughs> this is another forest seal. That's hilarious. Oh, wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, wow, he gets firepower in woods. <laughs> and I, there, there was, like, something... Something hap- I, I think what, what's happening here is, I think something happens to your brain when you overload it with information. I think, at some point, like, your brain just can't handle it anymore, and it just starts to laugh at everything. I literally became the Joker, yeah, I did. It was weird, man. It was like, I stopped being able to critically think. I just saw all the submissions blend into one another. It was horrible. It was absolutely horrible. I was like, oh, oh, it's another CO that deals AoE damage with artillery. Wow, it's crazy that 200 people thought of the same idea. Oh, you know? It, it just, it never ended. It was just a never ending torrent of bad ideas and a few cool ones. But yeah, um, it, it's, it's rough, man. I mean, <laughs> it was. To be fair, it was a fun competition, and I, I, I appreciate all your hard work, but one thing that kind of surprised me is how how many people can have the same idea, if that, if, if that makes sense. How many people can have the same idea for something?
Yeah, it's like it's like no one really has original thoughts, you know? It's really weird. Okay, I gotta be careful so the boss doesn't kill Soren. There we go. You're getting distracted? Well, what is there really to do on this map aside from slowly- I mean, this- This is- I don't like AI like this, I'm gonna be completely honest. It's like, this- this doesn't really make any sense. I guess they're like- they're there to slow you down, but still, it's kind of weird. It's more like everyone saw the same gaps in Sea of Powers and they wanted to fill the void. Yeah, kinda. Yeah, that's- that's a good way to put it, I guess. Um... It's just like, and the fact that people didn't see each other's submissions means that there was like no way to bet for originality, I guess. Oh wow, 22 damage, holy shit. Wow, that's crazy, man, what? Is it possible to route Clash Maniac mode? It is. Uh, I think if you get Wrath Resolve Toronio, it's, it's doable for sure. Being strategically off most of his uh, fan base. I want to do at times. Anthony BM donated five Canadian bucks to Super Chat. Anthony BM donated ten thousand eggy bucks to Super Chat. <laughs> oh, my Soren is incredible. Look at this Soren, guys. Look at this majestic Soren. Look at this majestic Soren. Is this Sora not the most majestic thing you've ever seen? Okay, we gotta heal. We gotta heal with mist here. We're just gonna let Sora kill, I think. Oh, that's not enough. Okay. Okay. Gotta be careful. I, I know the I know the boss is in range. I know I know the boss is in range, guys. I know I know. I'm not dumb. I'm paying attention, guys. I'm paying attention. Oh, cool, that's actually a heal tile. I didn't know that. So he, he kind of serves as a bit of a mini boss, this guy. There we go. Nice uh, heal experience for mists. I guess the soldier is the real boss, or it's actually a halberdier. It's actually a halberdier. You know, made to make it a rule to open to open the money chest with Volk to avoid what happened last time. Oh wait, you do have a combo in this chapter, right? I'm pretty sure you have a combo in this chapter, right? All right, we'll pull the boss with Titania, I think. If I remember correctly, I don't think this guy has a ranged weapon. Uh, no, he doesn't, actually. Fire Emblem doesn't let you open the convoy mid-chapter. Well, I don't need to, do I? Some people have said that this boss reminds them of me. I, do I don't know where you get that idea. That is certainly... Wait. God, he does look like me. <laughs> look, Mom, I made it into a fire emblem. Skill? I don't remember. No, he doesn't. Mengs, can you steal his weapon? Ooh, uh, can I? I think so? I can! 
Okay, so here's the thing. Uh, what's the steel blade waste set? I can actually steal his weapon, but I gotta make sure I don't kill him then. I think you can steal items with the same... I think you can you can steal items with the same um, weight, right? You can. Oh, I can steal the map. Oh, I have too many items. Okay, so I'm not. Yeah, you need more strength. I can steal the master seal for experience, though. Yeah, the Master Seal drops, so, but hey, it's, it's Steel Experience, it's fine. Come on, get more strength, Soren. Aww, oh, almost kept magic now. Almost kept magic. This is a godlike Soren. This is a godlike Soren right here. Alright, I think it's time to tell people to start escaping. We can probably start escaping with various units. Um, uh, honestly, we can also order our units. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Um, we don't want to do that, because then Volk will flee, and that would be bad. Escape with Ike first? Yeah, sure. That's, uh, just like in Tracia, am I right? Counter! Okay, lovely. Soren really needed that strength for when he's using dagger. Yeah, yeah, I see you. Order, um, halt, I guess? Yeah, just halt for now. I'll continue to heal with mist while Wolke gets this. Give counter to Ike? I honestly don't know who you'd give counter to. It's it's a pretty shitty uh, it's a pretty shitty skill. Oh wait, why isn't why isn't Sephiron moving? Do I need to bring him with? Do I need to go get Sephiron myself? I think I need to go get Sephiron myself. Right. But I am pretty sure you get a little bit of bonus experience, bonus experience for bringing Sephiron out of there. I think you get, I think you get a, uh, a, a extra dialogue too. Give counter to Soren. I mean, here's the thing: if you want to give counter to a unit, what I hate about counter is that it reflects damage taken. So. Uh, if you give it to a tanky unit, they usually won't reflect much. If you give it to a squishy unit, they'll just die, so... I don't know. Alright, now we can get out of there. We should probably make sure that we heal everyone as much as possible. Give to Boyd. You didn't set him free, what? Oh, that's Ike. Do you actually need to put Sephiron down on the tile to get him to escape? I think it is enough to just carry him with you, right? Eska is my favorite objective, yeah. Oh! Thank goodness, my goodness. Oh. All right, we did it. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. Doo -doo -doo. I think you get this regardless, don't you? Ah, yeah, sure. I'll let him come. Gotta be careful so you don't accidentally skip this. 65 whole bonus experience, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! Port Toha. All 
All right, we got 10,000, no one died. So we, you see that? We got 1,000 combat experience. We could have gotten 700 bonus experience, but we got 1,000 bo combat experience instead. So unless you desperately wish to give those seven levels to someone who joins later, it is absolutely stupid to stealth. You don't get anything out of it. But we do get the Oscar BC support, or B support, which is really nice. And then we're not doing Titania Ike. However, we will take the Lagoo Slayer. There you go. Can be nice to have. But first, ladies and gentlemen, I know you're all aching for some memes, so that's what we're gonna go do. Let's go do some may me hey 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 Oh my goodness, four me- 40 memes? Are you guys insane? I saved, don't worry. <laughs> uh, okay, that's that's kind of cute. <laughs> oh, we do look exactly the same. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, that's so stupid. What the? <laughs> oh. Da 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 da. Mm. <clears throat> All right, I'm downloading a bunch of memes now. There we go. Do -do -do, do -do -do. <clears throat> okay. Okay. We've gotten all the maymays. King Sephiel, there is something... Oh, boy. King Sephiel, there is something... Oh, God. I gotta make it bigger. King Sephiel, there's something I want to ask you. Why do you hate humanity? Haven't you ever logged onto Twitter before? Clarine has a TikTok, if that's what you mean. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I hate all of you so much. <laughs> Good format. I like this. <laughs> That's funny. Oh my god, wait. TC? Potterino, Donlot, and Dexio? You're having a meetup? Awesome. Let's dox you. Wait, you have t TC? Why would you come into contact with TC? That's really funny. It, it looks a little gay, but I'm, I'm sure you're having a good time. Okay, I've seen this edit before, and you guys know I love long hair, right? I think Tanith is the weird exception. I think Tanith actually looks better with short hair. Or like, semi-short hair. There's something about her that fails with long hair. And it, it's weird, right? Because I usually, I, I usually always say, it might be the style, yeah. It's just like, I think her short hair looks better for her. Welcome to anime, wait, wait. Welcome to anime where you awaken fetishes you didn't know you needed. Midriffs, exposed back thighs, traps, not gay, super cute. Oh, they don't like it when you call them that. Cat girls, maids, oh, there's, aha. So we have we have anime to blame. You know, I hate to sound like a fucking normie, but do we really need anime to tell us that these things are nice? I mean, okay, well, I'm sorry about that. Uh, uh, that these things are nice. I mean, you know, go outside, touch the grass. 
Listen, human, it's not like I want to command- It wants want you to command me or anything, stupid idiot baka. Meng when he sees GameCube water. It was fascinating, what can I say? It was fascinating. This is a weird design. Her head looks so small. There is some weird anatomy going on with this image. I can't quite put my fine finger on it, but it looks weird. Why do we have hands? There are many reasons. Pat the Titania, hold the Titania, cherish the Titania, for free and all mortal possessions to Titania. <laughs> Soren after getting one strength. That's great. <laughs> Get a load of this sim. Get a load of this sim. <laughs> hey, we have Lash. She commits enough war crimes as it is, okay? Me playing Fire Emblem Tree Houses and losing four units in the Edigal chapter. Oh, yeah, it's just falling apart. Yeah, I know how that feels, man. I know how that feels. A can of Coke. Oh, damn, that's, that's horrible. Trying as an adult to reconnect with the one that that one girl that you had a crush on in grade school. You missed the opportunity to deepen this bond. You know, okay, I'm gonna tell you a really sad story. Okay, um, so so I actually had this experience once. Okay, um, so it was it was really sad. So I don't really know why. So when I went, I was. I was 17, I think, and there was this girl in my high school. She was in my parallel class. She didn't go to my class, okay? And here's the thing, she was actually pretty. I mean, like, she wasn't like a knockout bombshell, but she, she was actually very cute. I think, obviously, I don't have a picture of her, nor would I show it if I had, because it's kind of creepy, because uh, she would be 17. But I was 17, so, you know, just... Just to put it in context, um, but she was very pretty. She was blonde. She had a nice figure. She was. She was like. She was actually really cute. But she wasn't like. She wasn't like the prettiest girl in the class. She had like a massive crush on me, to the point where when I walked past her, she'd be like, "Hi, hi," and she would be like, she would she would like walk after me and, and like when we were outside, and for some reason I just thought it was hilarious to ignore her. Uh, I guess. <laughs> so <laughs> I treated her like complete air. Um, I think in my head, maybe I thought I could do better or something. I don't know. I thought it was really funny to treat her like she was air. Uh, so I was like, what's up? And then I just kept walking. And I kept telling myself that, you know, maybe you should actually like ask her out. She's practically begging you to do it. Uh, and she's actually pretty cute. And she seems like a fun girl. I don't, I, you are kind of stupid when you're 17, and it's not always easy to understand why you do the things you do. I kind of semi had a crush on another girl at the time, like a little bit, but she was not interested in me at all. So I was just kind of, you know, chasing her. But I remember thinking to myself, as the summer vacation ended, I sat at home, and I was like, man, maybe I should have just asked her out, you know? Maybe I should have just asked her out. And, um, and so I go thinking about her the whole summer vacation. This was before you really had everyone on Facebook and stuff like that. Like, you know, you would add people on Messenger. The thing is, I, I almost, I don't think I even knew this girl's name. I, I'd never talked to her. Um, but she was blonde, actually. She had blonde hair, like, she had blonde curly hair. But, like, slightly curly down to her shoulders. Um, and I remember, like, spending the whole summer vacation going, like, why don't you just ask her out? Like, she's pretty. Like, just do it. Like, she clear- she's like- she's begging you to do it. And then I- I came back to school after the summer vacation, and, like, she had no interest in me anymore. And I even tried to strike up a conversation with her, and she was like, Mm-hmm. Oh, hi. Yeah, I gotta go. And she just- what? There was no interest. I was like, what happened? How- like, what? Do you not like me anymore? Like, what? <laughs> like, come on. Like, I know I treated you like air for a year, but I'm interested now. 
Uh, and, and I just remember thinking to myself, like, man, what's wrong with me? Why didn't I just ask her out when she was clearly infatuated with me? And I, I, this, I, I thought about this girl for years. I was like, ah, oh, damn, that girl. <laughs> it, was like, it was really frustrating. But why are we the way we are when we're 17? Who knows? Who can really say? Anyway, more memes. Sorry for that. That was a long story. I missed an opportunity to deepen that bond. Yeah. Somebody save me. Oh, this is my this is my teenage this is my this is my upbringing. Smallville. Anyone here watch Smallville? What what's up with making me emotional today? I loved Smallville. It's such a corny show, but I fucking loved it. This was like this this aired this aired after school. Every day I came home, I watched it. I watched it after school. I loved the show. It was so it was so relatable as a teenager. Even though it's about an alien from another planet. I don't know. I loved it. I loved Small Will. It's too bad the actor who played Chloe turned out to be in like a sex cult. That was kind of weird. Uh, that kind of ruined the mood a little bit. But, you know, we ignored that. It was still a good show. <laughs> yeah, the act. You know Chloe, the cute blonde girl? Oh yeah, I had a big crush on Lana. Do you, do you know the, the cute nerdy girl from Small World, Chloe? The one who had a crush on Clark? Yeah, turns out she was operating like a sex cult, and she was trying to recruit members of the Smallville team, and then she got arrested. She's in jail now for like 20 years. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh, but that's kind of weird. Yep, yep, it's true. Look it up, look it up, Google it. It's pretty crazy. Yeah, it's real. She's in jail now. Yeah, it's like Epstein Island shit. Uh, it's horrible. Yeah, so I bet that kind of spoils the reunions a little bit, but, you know. Ares, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, Perry, GF, Scorpio. <laughs> That's great. Oh. Uh, Roll <laughs> You did it, you crazy son of a bitch. You did it. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's really funny. Democracy is more what you call guidelines than actual rules. Normal stream path the radiance dolphin stream. <laughs> Oh, we've seen this before. Fire, gear, solid. You're in the final chapter and Ike already procs ether. He refuses to proc it again. Very relatable. Alright. Uh, let's talk about the new units we got. Starting with Braum. So, most of the time, when Donlot gives advice, I tend to ignore it. Because Donlot says a lot of stupid things, but I will admit Donlot was right about Braum. Braum is good for Maniac Mode. And the reason being is it's for the simple reason that is, um, the simple reason is he can cap defense. And units that can cap defense is very, very important. Oh, he has a crown. That's funny. Units that can cap defense are really viable in Maniac Mode. Now, I have a very strong Gatry. I'm also going to do a very strong Braum. Because, um, yeah, I mean, why not? The only problem with Braum is a very low luck growth. So you got to give him some Asher icons. Otherwise, he risks getting crit, which is not great. Uh, but Braum is undoubtedly going to be a very important unit this run. And a very, like, on hard mode, I wouldn't bother training him at all. But on Maniac Mode, you need units with cap defense to survive Clash. So, uh, Braum is an essential unit for that reason. Um, then we got Kieran, <clears throat> another incredibly valuable unit on Maniac Mode. Kieran is going to be Oscar's partner in crime. Uh, where is his growth rates? He's going to be Oscar's partner in crime. Uh, I'm going to give them both an A support because they're mounted. They tend to be on the same part of the map. <clears throat> Fire, Fire Earth is a very strong combo. It gives them both enough avoid to survive. Also gives them a bit of crit, which is very nice, and a little bit of damage, which they need. And uh, Kieran tends to get very good defenses. His speed is also all right. His strength is very nice. Together with Oscar, they just kick ass, and they're a very good duo. 
both of them work fine on their own. Together, they become two of your best units on Maniac Mode. Uh, so Kieran is fantastic. Then lastly, we have Nefany, a unit I actually did train in the last run. And Nefany, I mean, she definitely can work, especially if you support her up with Braum and give them both a water affinity. Um, she's not good for Maniac Mode, though, I will fully admit. Her strength cap is too low. She needs good forgers to deal damage. Um, Wrath is Mimi at best. I wouldn't say it can become good. Like, you really don't want Nefany walking around on half health on Maniac Mode. It's just not safe. It is just not safe. Her defenses are not tanky enough for that. I think if she was an Armor Knight, maybe it would have been better. But uh, it, it's difficult to get proper usage out of. Now, if you train Bet Nefany, she will cap pretty much... She'll cap strength, she'll cap skill, she'll, she'll cap speed. She might cap her defense. Very likely that she will, especially with some bans on her. You can definitely use her. On hard mode, I say go ahead, use her to your heart's content. On maniac mode, you can train her, but she's not going to be one of your MVPs. But you can do it, it's not hard. Just forge her a lance. I almost said Bethany, what? Nephany, Bethany? I guess, I guess they're similar anyway. Anyway, guys, it's time for another forge. I think we'll forge an... This time around, I'm thinking we forge a another... Let's forge an Iron Lance this time around. Twelve Might Iron Lance with 105 hit. Alright, guys, it's time for the forging game again. It's time for the forging game. We'll pause it. And unless it's something that literally will get me banned from YouTube, I will pick it. So start spamming names. This is the one part of the stream where you're allowed to, to spam. Alright, here we go. Alright. Five, four, three, two, one, and... <laughs> I missed! <laughs> okay. Congratulations. I missed from Crazy Dick. So that's I and then is it Ah oh shit I can't do that I'm I can't do uppercase letters though Mist There we go We'll make it yellow And we'll give this one to I think what we'll do is we'll actually give it to We'll give this one to Oscar maybe or we'll give this one to Braum, probably. Alright, I do also think it's probably a good idea to get some javelins while we can. Again, you just want to stock up on javelin and hand axes. You tend to you tend to burn through them real fast. Um, anything else we want to get from here? I think we're good. Maybe a steel sword frike. And what can we get from the shop? I think we're good on heal stays for now. Thundertone? Oh, yeah! You're right about that, actually. Yeah, he's actually out of thunder. Um, we don't want to support. We don't get it. Oh, we've gotten the Lagoo Slayer. Alright, let's go. GB Gonzalez donated 20 bucks through Super Chat. Hey Manx, out of curiosity, I have a recorded Maniac Mode Iron Man. How could I send it to you to verify I beat it? By the way, I have to do it on my official console, using my phone for recording. It cut out the Serenus art. Just send it to memes at gmail.com and I'll, 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 I'll have a look. But yeah, I, I said, it's very important guys, I said to my knowledge. I didn't say they didn't exist, I just, I said I hadn't seen it yet. So, 
it's a big distinction. I did make sure to say that, because I knew it, someone might have done it out there. Um, oh wow. I guess we're benching Mia. I guess we're bringing Marsha. Oh boy, I guess we're bringing Nephany. And, uh, do we have enough axes for Kieran? I, I sure hope so. Oh, cool, we have pole axes and hammers for him. Maybe we should give him some. Uh, Kieran can get... Honestly, I like skill and speed on Kieran, so I'm gonna give him the archer band. Getting speed on Kieran is kind of important. Uh, Titania. Oh, I'm actually kind of running low on Axis. I think I might have to... I think I might have to go back and buy some more Axis. There you go. Did I actually get any? Yeah, I think that's fine. Bear guard on Mordecai. Oh, are there Lagoo Slayers here? I guess so. But I, that left has it though. Left has it though. Oh, good. We have short axes and everything here. That's actually pretty good. And we got. Oh, I, sh I should have sold the statue uh, frag. I should have sold the statue frag. Also, I think I'm going to give this men's staff to Mists. Because I think she uses it better than Riss, honestly. I don't think there's any Lagoos on this map, if I remember correctly. So I think we're good for now. Put a pure water on Ike, why not? Can't hurt. There we go. Marsha's going to die and, lo and lose the Javelin? Probably. <laughs> Most likely, yes. Uh, do we have any rings left for Ike? A Pegasus band, okay. He'll, he'll get the Pegasus band, I guess. Should we really put the Mage band on? I guess Riss can use the... I guess getting magic on Mist is probably preferable, I think. Probably a good idea. Fighter band on Sora, Knight band on Volk, Thief band on Mordecai. Titania has the sword band. Uh, Braum! Uh, what gives luck? We need to find out which band gives luck. I know there's... I think it's the priest band, right? Uh, sword band gives skill and luck. I'm giving that to Braum. Yeah, I'm giving that to Braum. And then I think Titania can get the Thief Band, most likely. Yeah, because Braum... So skill and, skill and uh, luck is actually great for Braum. Because I think I might give him Adep. So, Magic Band on Mist, you moron? Yeah, I did. She needs the magic, so I think this is fine. Master Seal? I, who would I who would I use it on at this point? Soren is gonna Soren's gonna promote soon anyway. He doesn't need it. Um, I think that's fine. I will say this map can be a little tricky sometimes. You gotta make sure you do things properly. Uh, Titania definitely needs to go up here and visit here. Oscar and Kieran can start working down here. Kieran has 10 defense. These guys can sometimes be a little nasty because they might double some of your guys. So you got to be a little bit careful about that. Master seal on mists so she can get her horse. Well, she's only level three. You got to wait until she's level 10 before you can do that. Yeah, I gotta kill these guys first, then we can worry about these other guys over here. Uh, honestly, Bosker could go this way. You can't visit the houses with the Laguz characters. It's probably not a terrible idea for Oscar. So you can spare these Vigilantes for bonus experience, but it's not worth it at all. 
Uh, because you get more experience for killing them on Maniac Mode. Sell the Master Seal? I might do that, but I might also use it on Mists. Let's go! Rip Search? Well, I'm not gonna kill him. I, he doesn't attack you, does he? I'm fairly certain he doesn't attack you. So here, there is actually one thing you could do here. You could ward Titania, because there are a lot of mages here. Maybe I should have done that. Uh, maybe, maybe I'll, maybe I'll, maybe I'll move Mist and Smite actually. Oh wow, look at Soren's offense at this point. Holy cow. Soren's offense is quite considerable. Let's see if we can uh, set up a kill for Braum, shall we? Oh damn. Wow. Oh, hi Har! How are you doing? I like how he's sleeping. Alright. Um, let's just start with Kieran. Set up a kill for Braum. Black Knight on turn 15? No. I mean, yeah, he does spawn after a while if you take too long, but that's actually not how he works. And I think I'm just gonna use the Regal Sword to kill this guy on turn one. Yeah, Burger King spawns once you engage the boss. This is correct. This is correct. This is how Burger King works. And then I think what I'll do is just will any of these. I guess I can attack with Nephany. Get some healing experience with Mist. It's fine. So we'll do this. I do have to be a little cautious now. I have to make sure I kill all the remaining soldiers. But I think I will actually. Um, this may seem a bit silly, but I have actually experienced sometimes that Titania dies here, or comes close to dying. So I'm gonna give her a ward, um, because there's like four mages there, and if they all hit her, that can actually- The Armor Knights actually do damage her, which is a bit annoying, so... I'm just gonna use- Because I really want to get this house, because if, if I remember correctly, it has something pretty good in it. This guy has a Physic on Maniac Mode that you definitely want to want to grab. Oscar could do it if he's trained. I don't know if I trust my Oscar, though, to do that. Looks like I have to use Leth a little bit here. That's fine, though. An Elwind? Yeah, Elwind's good, though. Volk can probably deal with these two fighters, I'd say. Oh, yeah, easily. As long as he stays out of range with this guy, we should be good. I'll put Volk here. Alright, let's go. Could have dropped... Could have dropped off, I guess. Oh, this guy has a hand axe. Of course he does. But yeah, this is why you... This is why you ward up Titania. It's very smart to do this. It's weird to see f 9 at playable speed. It's actually a lot of fun when you speed it up. It's a bit annoying that you have to go out of your way to do it, but it can be done. Yeah, these vigilantes just kill them. You get 25 bonus experience per vigilante you keep alive. You get almost as much for killing them. It's complete pointless. It does not matter. The Braum level ups will be better with the Night Ward. Yeah, yeah, I will definitely give him Night Ward boosted level ups, but you don't get the Night Ward for like two more levels, and I think it's a shame not to give Braum a few levels before then. But yeah, it is definitely possible for me to just not use Braum and then give him like all Night Ward boosted levels. It is, it can be done actually. Why did uh, uh, Intelligence System make Path of Radiance slower than FE1? 
I think they just focused a lot on the animations and they weren't quite thinking properly because the first time you play Path of Radiance, the animations are actually quite cool and you're like, wow. Keep in mind, this was like the first, wasn't this the first 3D Fire Emblem game? Yeah, it was. It was the first time Fire Emblem went 3D. So they probably wanted to make sure you, you, you didn't miss the animations or something. I don't know. No, don't use up my physics staff, you idiot. Yeah, it's the very first 3D game, so... Why are the villagers so cute in this game? Like, seriously. This game has the most adorable generic villager girls. Which, of course, are not as pretty as my fiancé. But, still. If I still were single, I might have called them cute. Um... Alright, so we got a lot of vigilantes coming this way. Aw, oh, the parry GF can't kill. What a, what a bad weapon. Uh, maybe I can smite Braum, actually. Let's see, if we... hmm. Might have to send Kieran back here, I think. Send left north? I will, I will. Uh, I don't think Seahawk moves, so we can, we can do this. I don't think any of these have Lagoose Slayers. No, they don't. So, if we damage this guy a little bit, we can kill him with left. And she can just om nom nom up all the vigilantes and then recruit Seark. Now, Seark is a unit that I actually would like to give a chance. We'll see. I don't necessarily mind the... Um, Okay, if we're gonna move over here, uh, I'm gonna shove my sister a little bit. Oh shit, wait, that was actually not a good idea. Maybe Nefany can get this kill? Oh no. She can't even kill a Vigilante, what a shit unit. Look at the offense of this guy, my goodness. He doubles mercenaries, what the hell? And then Volk can kill. He can almost kill here. Almost. If, if Nephany attacks first, then maybe. Um, this is a little scary, though, I will I will admit. Ah, Nephany's not gonna die. Is Nephany gonna die? Uh... Hit points, strength and speed. Uh, iron bow. Um, let's just make sure we don't we don't kill anyone here, shall we? I'll smite Braum into action. That'll help. Fuck. <laughs> Maybe I'll just rescue Nephany. Uh, Volk has been injured. That's not great. If she has 17 HP, this guy does 17 and then 21. Is she gonna die? Uh, 17 minus 9, that's, uh, 8. And then this guy, 21 minus 9, that's, uh, 12 plus 8. She will die, actually. That's not great. Um, what about Volk? Is he gonna be okay? He's also low. You know what? <laughs> uh, maybe, wait, maybe I can trick the Bow Knight into going for Marsha. Or I can trick this guy into going for Marsha, maybe. Maybe this guy goes for Marsha. Nah, they go straight for Nephany. Well, I guess she's dead. I guess I guess Nephany is rip. I guess Nephany is rip and pepperoni. Glad I took away her javelin. What? 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 Oh, he doubles. What? What? 
<laughs> what? How? Huh? What is wrong with this AI? What is wrong with this AI? What the hell? Huh? You see, they're actually kind of like chipping Titania down slowly. Like, they actually deal damage to her on Maniac Mode. So you gotta be very careful. The Mages can definitely kill her. She's doing a wonderful job, like, thinning out some of the enemies here, though. Very nice. I guess they liked that they could... Oh, nice. Hi. Hi, Seahark. That is so weird. <coughs> hey, stop using my physics staff. I'm gonna use that thing. That is so weird. I guess maybe he couldn't kill Nephany? Yeah, he could. He could ease it. He had a 70% chance for lethal. Wow. That's so weird. That is so weird. Why would he do that? Alright, say hello to Seahawk. Uh, unlike Mia, he actually has competent bases. 10 strength, 15 speed, very good. Also comes with Adept, which is a solid skill. And he gets it for free, practically. Um... 60% speed, 45% strength, 30% defense is actually even serviceable for a Myrmidon. Usually Myrmidons tend to have like 15 or something like that, so very nice. Um, yeah, he's pretty much got everything. I mean, he is locked to swords and he doesn't get the 15 crit and, and Talius, but he has an earth support with Braum and together they are quite a team. And I'd like to try him out because earth affinity is very strong. And Earth Affinity is, like, if you can get it rolling, they, they will do well together. Check his Affinity. I know what his Affinity is. He has Earth Affinity. And he comes with Adept, too. So, I'm thinking, why don't we give this guy a, a go? Searc plus Braum is indeed a thing. We gotta be a little careful here. <clears throat> Give him the Vibrant Ban once you get Joe. Yeah, he definitely uses that well. Wow, didn't even kill with a crit. Nephany did not die. So I guess we need, uh... I guess we need Oscar to tank here. Might not be such a bad idea to ward him up, honestly. I might even do a, uh... Yeah, I think we'll do... We'll definitely do Oscar here. With the Javelin. And then I'd like to heal, uh, let's see, uh, can, is there any way, I think we might have to just drink a Vulnerary here. Because this is quite a scary force, you know? I think I can kill here. But wait, 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 wait. Can Nephany reach the village? I think so? I gotta get the village, yeah, I know. I don't think the thieves attack you. Draco shield! I hope they don't attack me, because... Do 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 Uh Mangs remember Shadow Dragon? What? What about it? What about Shadow Dragon? Are they gonna steal Wait what? You can attack from here? Oh I guess they can. 
Oh shit, yeah, they might. Ooh. Oh, they're gonna steal it? Or are they gonna run? I don't remember. Ow. I think the thieves run away. I mean, you guys keep telling me they run away, so I'm not surprised. Yeah, so the Earth Affinity is really starting to kick into gear here. 31, 31 hit against Oscar. You can really tell. This is so nice, honestly. What about Shadow Dragon? What should I remember about Shadow Dragon? Why is everyone saying member Shadow Dragon? I don't know! What is- what do you want me to remember? Yeah, I don't know, because you're not telling me! Oh shit. Careful, CR. Oh, okay, he was a little bit... This was a tougher matchup for CR than I thought. Oh yeah, we're definitely getting out of here. Can you stop using my physics step? I'm using this thing. Yeah, I don't know! You're damn right I don't know! Uh, yeah, this was kind of scary. Please tell me he has a vulnerability. He does. Okay, good. And left has five gauge left, so... Probably want to shove him to safety. I didn't even... I could have healed with Riss. Oh, well. I'm earned the Physic? I don't know about that. I don't think that's... Wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can they just... Okay, so this fence, you can attack over it, but you can't move over it? Really? I didn't know you... I didn't know it worked like that. Really? You can attack over it, but you cannot move over it? I had no idea it worked like that. That's so weird. Uh... Okay. That is weird as hell, man. Wow. I had no idea it worked like that at all. That is so strange. But kind of cool at the same time. Sheeta and Barris got killed by thieves in Shadow Dragon. Oh, is that what you're referencing? Okay, alright. Hmm. Kieran and Oscar support? They do, and it's a damn good one, too. It's a very good one. Uh, I think I'm gonna kill this guy with Titania. It's a really strong support, too. Oh, cool, Sorin can attack. Let's go for it. Maybe with this fence knowledge you will beat- I just didn't know that you could attack over fences but not move over them. That is very interesting. I just didn't know they worked like that. Oh, I love my Oscar. I love my Oscar. I don't like this guy, though. Glory hole fan. You guys are the worst. Have I ever told you guys you guys are the worst? Anyway, uh, let's talk about something completely unrelated. My fiance, Bethany, kind of forced me into watching a new anime. It's called Your Lie in April, and it's actually really fucking good. I was I was very surprised. It's actually really good. Don't spoil it! We're only in episode 5! Don't spoil- Oh no, wait, she's already here? Wait, what? Wait, can I get her to go away? Wait, she doesn't start moving right away, right? I'm pretty sure she doesn't. Anyway, um, it's it's a great it's a great show. It actually, like, it's actually fantastically made. Are you serious right now, Seahark? You better you better not miss both of your attacks here. 
Okay, I can live with that. All right. That could have gone really badly, but it, it didn't. There we go. Okay, I think we got we definitely got to get out of this range, but we also have a, a lot of guys to heal, so we do have to be a bit cautious here. Uh, maybe I can go and just bonk this guy. I think that's probably smart. Mia wouldn't have missed. Sure, she wouldn't. Sure, she she wouldn't have missed. You're right about that. She would have dealt zero damage twice. Oh, 99 experience for Mr. Brom. I think I have a hammer, don't I? Yeah, I do. Hey, rare footage of a hammer doing something in Path of Radiance. Yeah, I gotta get out of Jill's range. This is actually kind of important. There we go, and then we also got out. Oh, there goes my heal staff. I'm gonna go kill the mage with Titania, I think. Block the healer. I don't think the healer will do anything. He got defense! Wow, he got defense! Oh shit, the thieves are going for the other village now. Let's go! Um, I hope I'm okay here. I think I am. But yeah, I'll block the healer so he can't run away. If he tries to, at least. I don't think he will try, though. Uh, I think I might actually need to put Marsha up here. Because, um... I might need help ferrying Seahark out of there or something. We'll see. Stop hitting Seahark! My goodness. Yeah, they're definitely going for the house. You can't visit it with left. They'll they'll just they'll scream at you if you try to visit. So, which is a really cool little detail, I I think actually. Let's do side battle. I like that one. Doesn't Black Knight show up? No, the Black Knight shows up when you engage the boss, Makoya. Until then, you are fine. Come on, Seahark. Get him. There you go. I can visit it with Marsha. That's a smart idea, right? All right, now we can steal the Physic Staff. Lovely. Only 11 uses left, which is a little sad, but it's still nice. Still good. You actually get a lot of extra Physic Staves on Maniac Mode. Oh, she has C rank now. She can ward. Sweet. All right, good job, Kieran. Good job. Alright, so the rest of the battle should be fairly easy at this point. Just gotta get everyone up here. Probably wanna pull these cow- Oh, yeah, we gotta be careful. We do not wanna pull the boss. That's how it was. We do- we do not wanna pull the boss. If we do, the Burger King will come out of the house and roast us. Which is not great. Nephany, you can step on this priests. C gives her fit. Yes, I think she can physic now, actually. So we can start spamming physics on mists. The tactless tactician. I see you with that sore and knife shit. I see it. Uh, donor of the 20 Donkey Kong Super Chat. Isn't Beth Bethany technically a village girl? Yeah, I mean, she. Yeah, she lives out in, like, bumfuck nowhere, Will. So, I guess so. Oh! But it, but it froze there for a moment. Alright, um... Kill 
Aqua Lands. Nice. All right, let's run away in case the Burger King accidentally comes out of his house. Uh, all right, let's move forward. So yeah, we really, we really can use Physic now if we want to, but. I, I also think it's important to save the physic. You don't get that many, like, right away. You get a few, though. I think don't think we need to ward here. Oh, yeah, we gotta be careful with the boss here, because he... As you can see, the boss actually has very decent range. And I think some of these guys have Laguz bows, if I remember correctly, because they're, like... Technically on their way to like kill the fairies or whatnot. Do 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 do. Will the marriage be attended by generic green unit villagers? I assume so. Yeah. Ah, we'll let we'll let Volk kill this priest. There we go. Cavalier blocks. Yeah, I know. That's why I moved back. I saw. I saw. Let's uh, use Mordecai's Smite Utility. Will you be using Soth? <laughs> so. <laughs> so. <laughs> so. That's funny. You so. Can I attend your wedding, Manx? Uh, I I think the guest list is going to be pretty packed, but Bethany has a huge family. It's gonna be like fuck. It's gonna be like 150 people. I think it's pretty crazy. So, uh, no, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't think you can. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I wish there was just global ranges and Path of Radiance. That would have been so nice. Yeah, big family, American style. All right, where's Kieran? Come here, Kieran. So let's okay, let's put this debate to to rest. Can Lagoose smite when horse units? They can. Now you saw it. So the next time someone says yes or no or no, they can't, then yes, they can. Here you got it, ladies and gentlemen. They can. Can I sneak into your wedding and eat the cake hidden? <laughs> Clock, the wedding cake is going to be so big, even you can't eat it on your own. That's how big the wedding cake is going to be. That being said, there are two people who will be attending the wedding that's in this chat. I'm not gonna spoil it in case they don't want it to be announced, but if there are actually two people from this chat who will be at the wedding. Uh, Mangs, did you just call me Clock? Wait, I did? Wasn't... Sorry, Hanako. I am so sorry if I offended you. That is the worst thing I can call anyone. I'm so sorry. I hope you can forgive me. I understand if what I did is unforgivable. Hope you can find it in your heart to forgive me. Oh, that was Hanako, okay. Yeah, sorry, no Brazilians at the wedding. We'd rather not have the silverware get stolen. So, um, you know. Let's, uh, maybe Brom can get the kill? Wow, oh, Brom gets doubled a lot, doesn't he? Considering Ponsagroff is not in chat, must be TC and Donlock. So first Hanako is called Bethany and now she's called Clock. Maybe maybe Hanako is just schizo, I don't know. There we go. Capped skill on Soren, ladies. I don't know why I just said ladies. Capped skill! I don't this is not that important, but it's still fun. I like to see. Everyone likes to see numbers glow green, and if they say otherwise, then they're lying. 
All right, so we gotta move. We want to move a little bit forward, so we're like out of the Burger ra Burger King's range, because he will attack you if you're like in his range. He moves. He moves like two spaces towards you every turn, but you do you do not want to be in his attack range when he comes out. So I think we can probably pull the boss now. He has a bow, if I remember correctly. So we'll just we'll pull we'll pull him with Miss Safe. Uh, Titania. The Burger King will come out the turn after. So if we just move like this, we should be fine. There we go. Hi there, Makoya. How you doing? And it's nice to stay at the maximum of his range so he doesn't canto back. Alright, so first things first, uh, we can steal the Master Seal just for experience, I guess. Although, it might give Volk more experience to just chip. Yeah, literally. <laughs> literally gave him more experience just to chip, so... That's fun. So here's the question, should we actually give Braum a level, or should we save him for bonus experience? Because he's, he's a 99 right now, which is a pretty funny number, so... What we could do is we could not give him any levels until we get the Night Ward. Give him at least one level. Okay. I guess that's fair. Alright, maybe he gets speed anyway. Okay, that's pretty good. No speed, but he got pretty much everything else. And was that luck I saw? I think that was luck. So that's fantastic. Wait, could I have stolen his bow? Hit point, son. What? Kieran! Why are you like this, Kieran? Anyway, lots of healing experience for Mist right here. That's good. She's level four. Could I could ward spam, but I kind of want to keep ward. This ward is kind of good. Burger King will come out this turn, so we gotta be wary of that. <laughs> I love how he comes out and he's bigger than the house. It's so good. What does Brawl Portrait have a black mini crown? Uh, Cyan added it for me just for fun. Cyan was tinkering around with the assets, that's why Mia is pink. The pink Mia, I think, was just him experimenting to see if he could do it, and the Brom uh, bro crown was literally just him, like, actually messing around and utilizing what he learned, so... Yeah. Does he fit in the house? He probably, like, clanks his helmet on top of it, which is kind of funny. Will the Burger King be at the wedding? No, but I hope there will be burgers. I have no idea what the food will be. I hope it's something good. Alright, so here's the Burger King in case anyone want to take a look. Yes, he's named M MPID Black Knight. This is a translation issue. I don't know why. It just is like that, which is kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, he has re Renewal and Luna, and he will kill you, so don't go in his range. Bad idea. Um, I think if we do a, uh, if we do a shove... Do a bit of a shove train, we can get the men's staff this turn. Oh, it's just a heal staff, but it's still, still. It's probably a good idea. So it's arrive with Ike, so we probably just want to get out of the way real quick. Ike has a combo with Black Knight if he survives the encounter. Yeah, it's pretty funny. He goes like, oh, you're lucky you survived my blow. Um, it's actually pretty cool. I like it. Alright, let's go, Mists! 
Are you fucking kidding me? What is your problem? Uh, there is nothing worse than your healer leveling skill. There is nothing worse than your healer leveling skill. Absolute horrendous. Surviving the fight against Black Knight is an Andron Saga secret objective. Yeah, sounds like an objective PH would put in the game. Very nice! Strength and speed on Volk. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. That's exactly what we want. Maybe Seahart can get the key. No, absolutely not. Probably Soren then. Uh, what about healing, leveling, strength? Well, at least Mist gets uh, at least Mist gets sword some promo. So I guess you could argue that it's not completely useless, but still. But what is nice about Mist is that she is getting a bunch of staff experience, which is nice. So uh, she has C rank now, which means she can use physics. And yeah, I will just arrive. Oh boy, I, I took it. I, tr I, tr I, I underestimated them and they got away from me. How weird. Hi, Ronolf. Ronolf tanks a crit from the Black Knight, though. That's pretty good. And he doubles him, despite the fact that he has 27 speed. And then Saffron comes and uses a freaking physics staff on him for some reason. Did you see that? When she spoke to him briefly? This is really interesting, actually. So I think... I don't know why the damage values are showing up, and I don't know for who. But apparently, I think this might be Chuck Norris versus the Black Knight. Surely the Black Knight deals more than 21 damage. Actually, maybe he doesn't? Is Norris really that tanky? Oh, it's still Ronald versus the Black Knight. You can actually... Oh, you can actually see it, yeah. Does, does the Black Knight really only do 21 damage to Ronald? Is he that tanky? I guess he, yeah, he has like 20 defense, so... That is funny, actually. Yeah, that's what it's showing. Yeah, I call that archer Chuck Norris. Hey, 60 bonus experience, let's go. Alright, let's look at the summary. MVP is Titania. Got a thousand combat experience. Which is nice. Yes, we're gonna do memes. Yes, we're gonna do memes. Yes, we're gonna do memes. Alright. Let's look up some memes. Let's give speed wings to Brom. I might do that, actually. I think he definitely needs them. If I'm gonna use him, he needs to stop getting doubled. I, I absolutely agree. Okay, this is a nice edit. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> okay, that's actually... <laughs> that's actually a nice edit. I like that. That's cute. Alright, got the memes. In the heart of Kunoichi? Was well, this supposed to be young Kagura or something? Oh, they do have very similar hairstyles, actually, now that I think about it. Or not completely, but I guess similar hair colors? I don't get it. Is, is it supposed to be, like, young Kagura, or...? I don't get it. It's a Naruto joke? Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I'm sorry, I just gotta make sure. All right, there we go. Uh, let's see, here we go. Remember Shadow Dragon? My goodness, what an idea. Why didn't I think of that? I probably forgot most of my videos. Hey, Riz, why do you always wear that mask? Zero <laughs> defense! Uh, that's actually really funny. People make bridge CEOs thinking they are original. There weren't actually that many bridge CEOs. I, there was like one, and almost one, which is kind of funny. Well, well, I kind of like you, but I'm also kind of scared of that girl. I don't even know that girl. Look at me, Baka. What kind of leftist shit is this? <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Magnus, and welcome back to Rev Iron Man Season 283. I know we talked a lot of shit in the past 40 years, but I'm really going to do it this time. Oh, there's my future. There's my future. I'm proud to be an American, yeah. Let's give the, the, let's give the Statue of Liberty a massive rack. That sounds like a good idea. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, yeah, I think those were all the memes. Wait. Mang's PH is in Normandy. Me asking the Brits for another bombing. <laughs> Jill appears. She's not an ambush spawn. The Black Knight appears and he is an ambush spawn. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful about him. All right. Uh, no supports. Oh wait, Risk Titania. Let's go. I think this is Mists. Oh, Miss Titania. Do we care about Miss Titania? I don't think we do. She supports with. Uh, well, honestly, who else does Miss support with? Uh, I forgot. Who does she support with? I guess. I guess we can give her Titania. Jill. Oh, well. Yeah, I guess that's fine. Alright, here we go. Hi, Soth. How you doing? You can't skip this dialogue. Yeah, Oscar lost... Oh, I, I think I... I think I got him. All right, here he is. Um, <laughs> oh, so, oh, so, what a weird ass unit. Um, so, if you look at his growth rates, these are his growth rates after you factor in Blossom. He does have the best growth rates in the game. There's no, there's no denying that. The problem is he doesn't fucking promote. He doesn't promote. 
So he'll hit level 20 and then he'll be useless. It's like, and if you transfer his stats, then they'll actually turn out worse than they are in radio. Like, Soth is such a weird ass unit. It's like the developers just don't want you to use him. It's so strange. I don't understand why they couldn't just let him promote to Rogue. I mean, he is a Rogue in Radiant Dawn. So why not just let him promote to one here? I, it's so strange to me. He can cap lock? How? He would need to... How does he cap lock? Isn't, this, isn't the lock cap in this game like 40? Do you think Tannis is underrated? No, I think she's amazing. And I think everyone knows she's amazing. And if you don't think she's amazing, then you're bad at fire armor. So yeah, just a weird unit. However, he does have one good use. There you go, thanks. <laughs> thanks, so. That's, that's your biggest contribution to the team. <laughs> totally worth it. That's... Uh, <laughs> Oh, Seahark. I'm gonna try using you. The Lagoo Slayer will actually be pretty nice here. Uh, it can actually be a good idea to use the Lagoo Scarred for the next chapter. Because we're gonna be facing a lot of birdies. So I think we're probably gonna give the Speed Wings to Braum. Like, we're gonna use him, and his speed is a problem. So I don't see why we wouldn't. Uh, we'll sell the Stature Frag. We have a Draco shield as well. I'm gonna hold on to that, I think, until we find someone good to use it on. Uh, we're actually a little bit low on basic equipment, so I'm gonna go on a bit of a shopping. Uh, we'll go and get some um, regular ass iron lances. We need some axes. Some steel axes would be nice. Some hand axes too. And I think we're good on everything else. Maybe another Wind Tome for Soren. Yeah, I think we're good now. Give Ike the Draco Shield. Ah, uh, it's not a bad suggestion, honestly. It is not a bad suggestion to give him the Draco Shield. He definitely can use it. But I don't know. Hmm. Don't need the pole axe or the hammer for this, but the steel axe is nice. I'm considering forging an axe for Karen. I think it can come in handy. Uh, I think it can come in handy. Ike will need it for the Black Knight. I don't always give the Draco Shield to Ike. I do agree it is sometimes nice, and it, it can... What it can do is it can save the run. So that is, it, it is a tempting offer. Let's just put it that way. Shouldn't need to give Ike Draco Shield. He can cap defense on his own. He absolutely can. Hmm. Why lose experience if you don't have to? Uh, but I think we will do another forge. Um, I'm tempted to sell a master seal, but uh, I think I will, will forge an iron axe for Kieran. It's just nice to have in case he needs the land hits. It's 3k, it's very little. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to play the forge game. Time to play the Forge game, guys. All right. Three, two, one. Oid? <laughs> Oid? Okay, all right. Weird name, but I'll take it. Oid. Oid.
We'll make it red. We'll give it to Kieran. Can come in handy. Can absolutely come in handy. Uh, pure water is not needed for the next map. It's just birds. Let's see. Uh, Brom has the sword ban and a steel. He's gonna get doubled for sure. This next chapter can be a little nasty sometimes. This, this chapter can this next chapter can be a little scary. So we want to be. I don't know if we want to field two healers for it. But we'll see. Remember the Dom big guy? Yeah, that was kind of funny. All right. Let's go. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, who are we gonna field? Obviously, Seahark, obviously, Oscar, Kieran, Brom, Titania, uh, Soren, Volk, Mists. So we got what? We got one unit left to field. So that's probably going to be either. Either we go double healing, uh, just in case Mists cannot heal everyone, or we go Mordecai for a bit of tankiness, which can be nice. Leth is actually pretty nice here because she doesn't she doesn't get doubled by the birds. But I think double healer is probably for the best. Can be difficult for Mist to keep everyone topped off on her own. So Wow. I think double heals is probably nice. This is a great chapter to train Seahark, and we need to give him a ring. Uh, we definitely need... What, what kind of rings do we have available for Seahark here? Let's check. We have no rings available, but not everyone really needs one. What does Seahark really need? Uh, I guess strength and speed are, like, the big contenders for him. Um, so we probably want to give him... The Vyvern Band comes on equipped on Jill, or she I don't think she has it equipped actually. Uh Night Band. Night Band probably. Sword band is shit for him. It's just skill and speed. He'll cap those anyway. I'm thinking the night band, but that means we're gonna have to take it from Ike. Oh no, he has the who has the night band? Oh, Volk has it. I kind of want to keep it on Volk, so we need to we need to figure. Or we could maybe tr we could trade maybe. Like Volk, I like strength on Volk though. It's so nice. So I think he needs it more than Sihark. Um, I I guess he can take the priest band for some extra luck. Yeah, he could take the uh, priest one. Luck and rest. I mean, eh. Luck and rest is not terrible. Like, he might actually get... Yeah, okay, sure. He has zero rest. It, it, it'll do him good, too. Uh, the fighter ban is on Soren. I will die on this hill. I want him to level strength a couple more times. Oh, he's got 16 speed, actually. Isn't Soren's speed cap, like, 30? He's got plenty of chances to level that. All right, so... Mm-hmm. Bane Gady donated 199 to Super Shot. Back from work again. Will you survive? I hope so. <laughs> oh, I hope so. I hope so. This is a great map. Tons of experience. Uh, stealable coins. Um... I don't... How do you even steal those? You gotta have a very fast Volk. Ah, it's actually technically possible, I guess. If you, if you really look at it like that, yeah. This map is scary. Uh, the boss has corrosion. He can, like, eat three or four just. It's kind of funny. But yeah, you gotta be very cautious on this map. Uh, very easy to make a mistake and lose a healer. People say don't risk bringing the ward. I totally agree. Like, if Mist dies, at least I don't lose the ward staff. It's completely useless on this map anyway. So you want to take you want to keep that in mind for sure. I do not have any archers, no. I do not have any archers.
I do not have any archers, you're right about that. I love this track so much, it's great. So, it's definitely good if you can set up so that, like... These ravens move a lot farther than you might think. The boss is also very scary. Uh, he has droppable blue gem. Oh! So, here's the question I have. When you steal from the sky, if you try to steal his elixir... Does his speed count as 17 or 15? Hmm... I actually don't know. But yeah, so Seahawk will not get... How heavy is the Lagoo Slayer? 12. So he'll lose 2 points of speed, so 13 speed. So he will not get doubled. I gotta double check that. Yeah, it's 4 points of speed. And even if he did get doubled, would he survive it? 19 minus 7. Ah, uh, that's 13. 19 minus 7, 18, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. He took 12 times too, so he's actually fine, even if I do miscalculate. Um, and then I do I do like to set it up so we do as much... I think Soren is going to be absolute a terror on this map. He might even double some of these birds, maybe. Um... So we wanna we wanna try and engage as many of these birds as we can on the first turn. That makes this a lot easier for us. So we'll put Titania here, and then probably like Ike with a steel. S yeah, I think Ike with the steel sword against this birdie, and then we make sure everyone else is out of range. Put Oscar here too, just in case. If he wants to go for Oscar, that's fine with me. If he wants to go for Brom, that's fine with me too. Brom can deal with it. Same thing with Kieran, really. I'll I'll use my forges for this. This is a pretty nasty. Gonna make sure I didn't miss any birdies here. No, I think we're good. Oh wait, what? Uh, Volk, no! Oh, never mind. He went for Sear. Oh, missed missed both of them. <laughs> He missed both of his hits. Wow. Okay. Oh wow, he just fucking killed him. Damn. Wait, did Ike not have a band now? Did I not put an Ike on did I not put a band on Ike? Why no Elwyn for Soren? Oh shit! I didn't put Elwyn on Soren, did I? Wow. You are absolutely right. I did not. Wow. No, he has a Pegasus band. Okay, good. That's good to know. Uh, should we try... <laughs> 69 chance to hit? What the hell? Why is he so bad? Yeah, Volk is not great on this map. We'll see how... Yeah, not great, not great. Uh, I think if we use the... Ooh, what the... Really? What if we just shrug a... Ah, what the... We definitely have to create, like, a wall here, I think. But we, I really want to kill this guy. So I guess we'll just... We'll chip him with a javelin, hope we hit, and go back. Damn it. Okay, we have to be careful here because this could get this could go south really fast. This could go south really fast. Okay, at least he hit. Nice dodge from Volk right here. I think we have to kill this guy with Ike. Yeah, we have to. Oh, that was stupid. I should have used the iron sword. Hey, we got a coin. So they are transferred over. You can use them for forges in Radiant Dawn. Can be nice. A couple extra coins to forge with. Never hurts. Alright, what if Titania swings with a regular... Ah, oh, look at that. That works. And we can put Titania right here. And then... 
we can use the Oid, mostly for the accuracy more than anything else. There we go. Secret book. You get a lot of stat boosters in this map, which I really like. Uh, I don't know if it's safe to put... I don't think they can attack you from here. I think these are like two different elevations, so... Uh, I think you are safe. And then we'll put uh, Braum right here. Okay, going, oh, I don't like that crit rate. I gotta, gotta be honest, not a big fan of the crit rate. Yeah, the secret book? I don't know who I should put the secret book on. Rolf, this is actually, if you train Rolf, if you train Rolf, this is a chapter to train him on. Hi there. Ah, it's everyone's favorite racist girl. So here's a little fun tidbit. I don't know if this is the case. I think she actually doesn't equip her Laguz card. Okay, no. She comes equipped with the Vibrant Band. Uh, but... I thought maybe she would unequip... She would equip her Vibrant Band and unequip her Laguz card. But I'm glad to see that is not the case. So here's Jill. Uh, I'd say on hard mode, she's definitely the best unit in Public Radiance. Because she just kills everything. She flies, she has Kanto, she gets hand axes and promotion. It's just a beast of a unit. She's really easy to get going, and definitely a st she should be a staple on every team. On Maniac mode, I find her less good. She's still good, don't get me wrong. But I don't think she's like in the top three anymore. Just because you need high defenses and rest to survive on Maniac mode. I find that Jill is Siege Tome fodder, deluxe. Like every Siege Tome will target her immediately. Sure, you can keep her out of the Siege Tomes, but that's not always an option in Maniac mode if you want to be in the front lines. So I find that Jill dies really easily if you're not careful with her. Especially until you get the full guard. Um, what's top tree in Maniac? Um, I'd say, like, one of the Armor Knights, and then probably, like, Titania. And then... Am I allowed to say Ike? Ike is maybe not counted. I would need to make a video about that, I think. Oh, don't get me wrong, Jill is still great on Maniac mode. I'm not saying she's not. I'm just saying, it, on hard mode, Jill is the undisputed number one, in my opinion. Maybe number two after Titania. Uh, but on Maniac mode, Jill's weaknesses becomes a lot more critical, because there are things that can kill her very easily. And it, it just makes her hard to keep alive sometimes. On Maniac mode, you gotta baby her a lot more. But, I wouldn't put the boots on her. I would, on hard mode, put the boots on Jill every single time. On Maniac mode, you put the boots on Jill, very high likelihood you're gonna lose your boots. So, just something to keep in mind. <laughs> Jill falls off when she stops being racist. Yeah, sure. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Ooh, let's go. Good wind tome. You get so much experience from killing these birds. It's great. Look at that. Seraphrobe. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a Seraph robe. Who should get it? I'm tempted to give it to Soren to make him survive. I know that may not be a super popular suggestion, but it is one that I am considering. Ike. Uh, Ike already got one. I don't think he needs another one. Okay, we, we can do this. I just gotta make sure I, I watch their speed. It's usually 16. Uh, I think regardless of that, we'll be fine. The, the Lagoon Slayer is a little inaccurate though, which is not great, but we'll try. Seraphor for Astrid. If you want to use Astrid, then yes, a Seraph Robe is uh, nice. You got rests, guys. The Priest Ban paid off. If you're going to use Astrid, then I agree that uh, a, a robe is warranted for her. But 
Robe is one of, one of the best stat boosters in the game after Speedwings, and I, I don't know if that's a good idea. Seraph Robe or Mist or Mist? I don't know about that one. Um, hmm. Maybe? Now, one thing I love about the Physics days is how much experience they give you. Look at that. Mmm. And lots of staff experience, too, which is nice. And there's some reinforced. Mangs. Uh, or. Zero. Oh. Let's see. Why'd you stop doing the 0% Andra Saga thing? I didn't stop, I got sick, and then just a, lo a lot of other projects caught my, caught my mind. Guys, sometimes I will experiment and I'll throw stuff at the wall to see what people are interested in, and I I'm really sorry about this, and I know this sounds a little stu I know this sounds a little pretentious, but... Um... I do different stuff all the time to see how well it does, and if I see that my audience... Oh, shit! Oh, no. Ah, sorry about that, guys. I forgot to save. I'll try to do everything the same way. I forgot- I, I got complacent and I forgot to save again. Really sorry about that. I'll try to do everything exactly the same way. I think I used this one, right? Or did I? I don't actually remember. Uh, I will say one series that will be making its uh, return on Monday is uh, Shadows of Etheria. I'm gonna try and put that out every Monday. So uh, you will get another episode of AI Emblem very soon, guys. Uh, but anyway... Uh, yeah, so uh, I do, you know, occasionally I'll... Wait, this... Oh shit, I didn't use Seahark! Oh, it crashed again. That's funny. I made a save this time around, though. Um, yeah, I was supposed to use Seahark. That was not on purpose! I know that seemed sus as hell! It wasn't on purpose! There you go. And I think I'm even gonna get the same... Is that the same level up? I don't think you got magic. So, maybe? Yeah, anyway, uh, as I was saying, sometimes I'll try out a series to see if it works, and sometimes it'll be a hit, and sometimes it won't. And I don't like abandoning series, but I also have to try out new things just to see what people like. And, you know, if, if my audience isn't interested in seeing something, I don't want to waste my time on it. I know this sounds really... It sounds like I'm only interested in views, and, and that is... It's not that I'm only interested in views, but... I try, I try out various things, sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. And I'm only one guy and I can only do so much. I consider it to be a waste of my time to spend a lot of time and resources doing a series that people aren't interested in watching. So, you know, but AI Emblem is actually doing really well. Um, it is actually a very popular series, I've just been sick and I've been a little burned out on GBA hacking, so I'm gonna release that every Monday. But um, the way YouTube works, and it, it really does suck, and I hate that it's like this, but the way YouTube works is if your videos perform above a certain level, and it will tell you this loudly, if your videos perform above a certain level, YouTube will be like, good job, good video, uh, your channel's good now, and you're gonna get, and it, it's gonna start promoting your videos, and it's gonna start to recommend you new subscribers. And it's gonna like start growing your channel and your video. You're gonna see your channel exp growing exponentially. If YouTube goes, that was a shitty video. Uh, your audience didn't like it. Uh, no one's clicking on it. It's there. It's, it's gonna start to like your subscriber count slows down. Uh, your videos don't get featured. It's a horrible system. I hate that it, it didn't. It didn't used to work like this. So basically, as a content creator, you get very clear feedback on your video, like whether or not your fans liked it or not. If, you're, or if your fans don't like a series and they're not interested in watching it, if you persist and you put it out anyway, 
you're gonna go into negative growth mode. It's really, it's really ugly. But it's just how YouTube works. And I hate that it's like that, but that's the way it works. At least once you reach a certain, uh, unless you reach a certain size. There is a part of me who has considered just not giving a shit about this and like doing what and sometimes I'll just do something because I want it. Sometimes I don't I don't care about what YouTube says. I'll I'll do a video because I want to do it. Um But um maybe maybe I'll just go drive some forklift and make some money at other places and then not give a shit about what YouTube says and just put out videos I like. That's certainly a route that you can go down, but if you want to pay your rent and you want to do well, you kind of have to listen to YouTube's rules. And that's just how it is. Yeah, like the ringless engage. That was a series that would have taken a lot of work, but people just didn't give a shit about engage. Like, people had no interest in engage. And thus, uh, I could have spent hours every day getting a ringless engage video out, and I would have been rewarded with a, a channel that would have stopped growing and like YouTube telling telling you that you're doing a shit job it, it, It's fucking awful, but that's that's the system that YouTube has generated and I kind of get why they're doing it like this because YouTube more than anything They're interested in rewarding content creators who do good who do creative series that people want to watch And that's kind of how YouTube just makes their money and it makes sense that they do it this way I guess they've gotten a lot more, uh, they've gotten a lot more clear about what they want lately. <laughs> uh. So, on one end, I do respect content creators who are just like, I don't give a shit about what YouTube says, I'm just gonna do what I want. And there's something very admirable about that. But, when YouTube is your job, and you have to pay rent every month, you kind of have to do what the system wants you to do. And hey man, I don't want to come off as, like, sounding like I don't like any of the stuff I do. I fucking love my Iron Mans, I love my stream, and I'm actually very lucky that YouTube really likes streams at the moment. So whenever I stream, it's great. Like, streaming is really what- YouTube wants to try and be Twitch. They want to try and be Twitch and TikTok at the same time. So, streaming is fantastic, and I love to stream, so I'm very happy about that. And I have been working hard to try and put out videos that I know YouTube likes, and I think you guys like. So it's not like I'm like, oh, poor me, I'm getting oppressed by YouTube. No, no, it's just that YouTube is a lot more clear about what it wants lately, and it punishes you harder for not doing what it wants. And what it wants is just people who watch the video. <laughs> so, whenever people ask me, Manx, what happened to that series? Why didn't you continue the series, Manx? Manx, why aren't you doing the series? My response is, uh, because YouTube punishes me for doing the series because my audience not enough people from my audience wanted to watch it That's the response. I hate saying it because it feels tacky, but that is the truth Anyway, I hope you guys I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from now So I hate complaining on YouTube. I don't like doing it You, don't, you guys don't tune in to listen to some bold guy complain if you want complaining you can go watch boogie 298 or whatever so I'm so but sometimes Gets a little. Sometimes it's like, Manx versus this, Manx versus this, Manx versus this. Sometimes I'll just go ahead and do it because I want to finish it, like Guiding a Bridge, for example. I spent way more time on Guiding a Bridge than I should, but I'm happy I finished it because it's a good series. Manx's boogie confirmed? Wait, were, the, were those ambush spawns? I think that was an ambush spawn! Do you guys see that? That was an ambush spawn! <gasps> I mean, I guess it's not in range of the ship, so it doesn't really matter, but still. That was weird, man. Hey, let's go! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Cap magic cap skill! Cap magic cap skill! Ooga booga! Let's go! That is fantastic, my goodness. Three defense, don't care. Still good. Ooh, please hit. Thank you. Alright, now we gotta protect our squishies, so everyone form a wall. I'm 
paranoid. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Okay, so Jill. She does have the Vibrant Ban, which is ridiculously good. Um, I guess I can start attack- I feel like I should give away the Vibrant Ban to someone. Or I could equip it- I could equip it on her. Yeah, so fun fact about the Lagoose card, by the way. It doesn't actually, like, look at this. Yeah, the damage display actually doesn't update the proper damage. So it's actually way safer to attack with Jill than you might think. So don't- don't- don't get spoofed. I think we got all of our squishies tucked away safe here. Can two guys attack Soren? No. Kieran should be fine. Oh, Kieran might get doubled, actually. Maybe I should, uh... I think he'll be fine. Ugh, maybe not. Ooh, maybe not. Um... Um, I think I might be dead. Oh, no. Kieran. No! Kieran, no! Oh, I fucked up. Oh, well. <laughs> That's an axe, too. God damn it. All right, well. Rest in peace, Kieran. It's so easy to fuck up on this map. Some of these birds are just plain nasty, man. All right, so this is a scary situation. Way too many scary lagoos mucking about here. Uh, we definitely gotta get out of here um yeah we're we're getting out of here it'd be nice to troll a win that these guys but i don't think i have no, we gotta get soaring out of here this is this is a nasty situation Volk can go over here, I guess. Take this, and... Thank God they don't have Kanto. That would have been downright nasty, actually. I'm very glad they do not have Kanto. Then we'll put... Uh, oh, and then we'll put... Braum right here. That should be fine. You want to just create a box formation on this end of the ship. I think that's definitely the smartest thing you can do. To be fair, losing Kieran is bad, but it's not the end of the world bad, if, if, you, if you catch my drift. It, it's certainly not great, but it's... It's like, it's not... It's not, like, reset-worthy. We can heal Jill, that's good. We definitely wanna probably put... I don't know if... Hmm. I'm gonna try to hit this guy. Didn't work. Okay. I think we'll just kill this guy with Titania. Lagoo Stone, very nice. And uh, we'll put... We, this guy's scary. He's got... Actually, he's not that scary. Jill. Okay, let me check. Okay, doesn't get doubled. That's actually pretty cool. So I'll, I'll put Seahark here. Um, I want... Jill can do a hit and run, which is nice. Want to be careful with Soren, though. We don't want him to take two. Honestly, Soren might just stay here. I think he's completely safe here, actually. How about training Makalov? Uh, I've been, I've been offered like a hundred bucks to kill him, so I don't know. Probably not. Very nice. Strength and speed on Ike. Still not get still not getting defense though. So that's uh not ideal, I guess, but uh How 
Okay, we got a nice little formation here. We can do a little bit of a hit and run with Jill. We're gonna heal. We're gonna heal her with uh, with uh, with wrist and potentially also mists. We'll do this. Okay, who needs healing? I think we're gonna heal. Uh, we're gonna heal Jill with wrist, and then I think we'll pop an, a physic on Ike. I think that's probably for the best. I think this is a safe formation we got going on here. Mist! Can you stop? Yeah, I think actually the Lagoose Slayer is probably not the play here. We want avoid. Uh, okay. He doesn't double. I have crit, which is good. Oh, he pro <laughs> he procked he procked uh, corrosion on me. He freaking procked corrosion on me. The dude procked corrosion on me. Now, am I completely wrong in remembering this? But if you stall out this enough, don't you get additional stat boosters? Or am I completely misremembering this? So here, I actually think I'm gonna let Volk take the frontier because he could use the experience. The reinforcement, yeah, I seem to recall this. Uh, yeah, this is a little scary for Seahark actually because um, yeah, we wanna keep the steel sword on him most likely. Because uh, if he crits, then uh, he kills the boss, and then he opens himself up to another attack, so we want to be very careful about that. Uh, Jill is fine for a little while longer. Wow. Isn't Manx himself German? No, but I have ge I have German family, so I am twenty. I am effectively twenty five percent German, I guess you could say. So, because uh, my grandfather was from Germany, so I have German blood in me. Honestly, there's a I think there's a good chance the boss might go for Brom next turn. So, I'll do this. Honestly, should should borrow like a javelin or something with Jill so I could chip a little bit, but uh, I don't want to. I don't want to break my formation. Ow! Yeah, it's sad that Kieran died. I really don't like that. It's very sad. Yep. Oh no, the generics are going for Brom now. Okay. I'm glad I brought two healers, let's just put it that way. Very glad I brought two healers. This is good experience, though. Yeah, I seem to recall that if you stole it out, don't you don't you get, like, bonus reinforce? I seem to recall reading that somewhere, that it's actually beneficial to, uh, to stole this out a little bit. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm right. Uh, Seahark is taking a lot of damage here, and I'm not a big fan of it. I think you get another Seraph Robe. Yeah, I seem to recall this. There are some reinforcements with items. Let's try and get it. Let's try and get it. I'm li a little bit worried about Braum right now, because, um... If he if he defeats this guy, I think I might need a Bonerary. Because if Braum kills this guy, the boss might come for him next. So we gotta be very careful about that. Um, I do think I wanna borrow the Javelin from Oscar though. Maybe even... You know what? Jill makes way better use of this lance than Oscar does. Oh, wait, that's exactly what I... Okay, good thing that she missed there. Because that's exactly what I didn't want to happen. 
Uh, maybe maybe killing edge isn't such a bad idea because doing some damn wait a minute 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 if Volk gets one more speed he might be able to steal the elixir maybe oh shit Jill is injured very injured actually ooh No, thank you. Okay, Braum's still going strong. Oh, let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Okay. I have an idea here. If Soren can soften this guy up. No, Braum's still... Okay, what if I swap? Oh my god, I'm surrounded by eagles, aren't I? My goodness. Uh, that's a good level up from Braum, actually. A very good level up. Let's try and set up another kill with Braum, or for Braum. Very good, very good. Hey, welcome, Mononek. Very nice. Kinda wanna steal the boss's elixir, not gonna lie. I think I will not attack this turn. Actually, I need to heal Jill. Oop. I think maybe it's time for a vulnerary for good 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 little evolve care. I need to heal Jill. I see people not living past this. Uh, that's three times two, right? So yeah, we definitely have to use a mend this time around to heal her up. Do you guys know which turn these reinforcements show up on? Braum is injured, is he? How injured? 19 times. I think we'll be fine. Uh, actually, he might not be fine. Turn 13. Okay, so we just gotta hold out a little longer. I might use Icon of Sling. Oh, very nice. Oh, I should have equipped the Vibrant Band before leveling up. But I still got Strength and Speed, so that's honestly fine. I'll put Ike here for the time being, uh, just in case they decide to go for Braum. I'd, I'd rather not. I'm, I'm so paranoid about doing something wrong, but I... There they are! There they are! That's what you get for stalling. You get bo bonus stuff. And I'm pretty sure this is route, not kill boss. There we go. Very good, Jill. Nice. Nice kill for Jill right there. Ah, oh, another level up without the band. She got magic. <laughs> oh, but at two speed levels on Jill, though, that's pretty nice. Honestly, that's really nice. If Volk can get one more point of speed, I think he can steal the elixir. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. That could be a thing that he could do. Maybe the boss... Maybe the boss will go for Volk now. Yeah, it looks like I'm getting a good Jill, so that's cool. Uh, the boss might actually pop an elixir this turn because he's below half health, so. Nope, he's, he keeps going for Seahark. Oh, okay, Seahark. Calm down. Oh, Volk has Shadow, doesn't he? Yeah, he has Shade. Alright, speed for Seahark. Got it. Alright, let's check their inventories. Uh, coin and a Lagoo Stone. Okay, that's not... That impressive, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Not that impressive, but uh, I'll take it, I guess. How, how does this sound? 
Oh, this is this is good. Actually, one of the rare good. I'm not a big fan of the Engage remixes, but this one's actually pretty nice. Yeah, he won't go for Volk, but maybe if we can get a, a single level on Volk. If we can get a level on Volk. He can steal the elixir, which would be really cool. Oh my god! Oh my god! There's more! Holy shit! Holy shit! Coin? Coin? I mean, just coins for now, but still. Arm scroll? <laughs> this is great! This is great! Alright, could we... Could we feasibly... Set up a kill here? I have to remember to actually equip the right weapon this time around. Yeah, so you can, you can attack them like this, but it's difficult to do so. If we could just get one of them to I just want Volk to Okay, we gotta we gotta watch out for the range of the boss though. This is also if this guy dies on Sehark, then we might we might die, so uh Maybe we can do this. Ooh. Nah. It won't work. It won't work. One damage off, that is frustrating. Uh, I guess what I could do is a little bit scary. I could pick up Mist instead of healing and then use Soren to kill. I feel like with the Lagoose Slayer, he might die here. He might retaliate and kill and open himself up to two attacks, which would be really bad. Um, so maybe maybe we'll just put Jill next to him, honestly. That, that could work. Oh my god, wrist level defense again. Guys, he keeps doing it! He, he keeps leveling defense! Okay, be very careful. As you can see right here, it's very easy to fuck up. I guess the problem persists, though. Like, yeah, if you go... He, I think this guy will not go for Seahark. At this point, I can only really hope. If he does, I'm kind of fucked. Ah, we'll just wing it. Oh, okay. That works. Make a safe state? I agree. Just in case it crashes. Okay, very nice. Can we set up a... Okay, here comes the ra here comes more. I think those are the last ones, though, right? Pretty sure we don't have more after this. Okay, this works. Oh, we can give this kill to Volk. Maybe he'll level strength. Let's go! Dolphin is still Sundere, yeah. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, he got speed! I think he can steal the elixir now! I st <laughs> I think he can steal the elixir now, guys. Yeah, I think he can. Okay, Brom, come on, kill this guy. Yes! Let's go, Brom! Strength and luck! I'll take it! I'll take it! Uh, I do need to rescue Volk, even though he has shade. 
he is probably going to die unless I do something, so. Um, gotta watch the boss's range. There's a lot of things that could go horribly wrong here. I really want to take Volk and dump him. So I think I might just move Sihark like this. And then I'll do this. Because if I'm not wrong now, I think we can easily... I think we can easily steal the elixir, which not a, not a big deal, but it, it's still kind of fun to do. Hit points, magic, luck, and resistance. Double check boss's inventory. Yeah, he has a blue gem, a demiband, and an elixir. He also has miracle, actually. I, I forgot about that. That's funny. That's actually really funny. He has miracle. That can really fuck you over, I imagine. Alright, well, Soren's not getting doubled here, that's for sure. Miracle never procs. I'm sure someone has seen it proc at some point. Hey, let's go! Soren level 20! Soren level 20! Let's go! Oh, he does go for Soren. Ow. Don't kill him. Okay. All right, let's see. Let's see if it works. Can we steal? We can. <laughs> oh, it'd be funny if we could steal the demi band. That'd be hilarious. We can actually get the elixir. That is funny. That is funny. Oh, shit. I didn't actually intend to kill him. It's just an elixir, but it, it's still, you know, it's something. You know? The stream lagged as he said, can we still... YouTube has been kind of awful lately, and I know this because... Um, uh, I know whenever I'm the one lagging, because OBS tells me about it. And whenever you guys are, like, screaming lag, 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 it's, it's never... Like, my OBS is light and green, so... That indicates that YouTube has some kind of server problem or something, so... But again, YouTube being YouTube, what else What else is new, right? Nice one, strength and luck, I don't mind that. Getting above double-digit luck is always, uh... It's always a safe thing to do, I'd say. Ah, shit! I need to, I need to equip that goddamn Vibrant Band on her. She's probably losing out on a lot of strength levels because of it. We're gonna do memes after this, yeah, don't worry about it. Alright, wrist is safe, I'm pretty sure, yeah, wrist is safe, no one is low, mist is not in range, this guy cannot attack wrist, Ike is healed, Volk is in range, but he's not damaged. Equip ban on Jill, equip ban on Jill, equip ban on Jill. Thank you. Of course, one thing we have to be a bit cautious about now, she actually takes full damage. If you forget that sometimes, that can be a bit nasty on this map. Alright, we got, um... We got a kill left. I think we'll give this one to our boy Seahark. I was kind of hoping to give him way more kills in this chapter. But I forgot how heavy the Lagoo Slayer is, so I kind of... Put a bit of a stopper to that. I don't think there's any more reinforcements after this, right? Yeah, killing edge is kind of what we need. Soren promo. So here's the thing, guys. The Master Seal is worth 5k. The Master Seal is worth 5k. Is 5k worth a solitary level? I don't know. I don't know, 5k is a nice sum of gold. I, I think I'd rather level him up. So... Oh, you meant by leveling him up. It's not... Yeah, okay, got it. And are we feeling another one? I think we're feeling another one. I'm feeling kind of on fire tonight. Be nice to get past this level, maybe. Oh, sorry. I skipped over the battle report. I tend to do that. 
All right, let's do memes. Do you show gifts and memes? I can, yeah. <laughs> Actually, a very good meme. <laughs> Oh my god, it's me! It's a playable unit! That's actually really cool. I like that. <laughs> That's actually really cool. Being British in a world where literally no one else is for no apparent reason. Yeah, it's kind of weird when they do that. Oh no! <laughs> oh, my nightmare. My nightmare scenario. <laughs> That's horrifying. That's horrifying! <laughs> oh, that's like the worst place to end up as any YouTuber, my goodness. Ah, <laughs> oh, isn't Soren amazing? Oh, we've seen that one already. Oh, that's right, Miss Dusney means shit in German, doesn't it? That's kind of funny. Congratulations, you have cancer. Oh, I don't. These 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 memes are too text heavy, and and honestly, like the Virgin versus the Chat, it's a very boring meme format because it's just like I don't know. I'm, I just don't like it. It's it's not. It doesn't have the singer. It's too much text involved. Leftist meme. All right. So let's see what kind of supports we have available. Uh, I, I don't think we get any this chapter, do we? No, we do not. And there's no, uh, no item giving things either, so... I say it's probably time to do a bit of a cleanup in our inventories, like so. Because we got so much shit, we gotta make sure we, uh... There we go. get every occasionally it's good to do like a total reset and just make sure that you have everything that you need uh, regal sword steel sword for Ike and does he really need more bands he's got one level left to level up maybe it's fine we have a seraph robe and a draco shield Soren bonus experience nah I mean nah I don't think so he'll uh... give him 12 maybe just to have him be a sage. We don't have a lot of it, though. He can attack once on level. It's fine. Um, Killing Edge. I don't think... There are Lagoos in the next chapter, actually. And, and armored units, so... Honestly? Let's forge a... Uh, so here's the thing about Master Seals, I'll keep one of them, but 5,000 is a lot of money. So I'll, I'll save one for Mists, but I really don't think there's any point in using them. I think just let units level up. Same thing with our... Oh, we have a Blue Gem too. So we have a counter to give out. I don't really know if there's anyone who benefits from that, but I'm thinking we forge a sword for Sea Arc, don't we? Yeah, I say we forge him a good steel sword. 13 might. That's like a silver sword. Very nice. Very nice to have. Not gonna give it any crit, though. Oof, that's expensive. What the fuck? 9,000? Maybe we'll just forge him an iron sword. How, how expensive is the iron... Yeah, 
Yeah, hit, maybe I'll... Maybe I don't care about... Maybe I don't care about hit. Just 75.13. For 6k. Yeah, I'll do that. A little bit of hit, though. Just a little bit. Wait, what? Huh? Did I forge it already? Oh, I guess I forged it already. Oops. Alright, it's time to play the forge game. Your favorite game. Alright. Okay. Sword for Seahawk, ladies and gentlemen. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and pick. Oh wow, two people won. I guess 50 gold. I guess that's what we're calling it. It's 50 gold is more in on screen than Rev. So. Sea barf. Uh. Fifty gold. Was it fifty G or fifty gold? I think it was just fifty G, right? Yeah. Fifty, <laughs> fifty gear, <laughs> fifty gold around. There you go, Chad. Are you happy now? <laughs> you got, you got, you got both. <laughs> there you go, Chad. And I think we'll give the the vibrant ban is very good on Ciarc. He wants strength and yeah. So, um, Jill, on the other hand, uh, probably wants, uh, she, she likes strength and speed, but she, I think the, uh, honestly, speed is very good on Jill. Uh, so I think we'll do, I think we'll do, wait, let me, let, let's do the inventories one by one, so. There we go, Oscar, he has his, uh, lance, that's good, a javelin. Killer Lance is nice. Steel Lance is nice too. Vulnerary can be very nice for him. And for his ring, uh. I think for Oscar, we'll do the. Th How's his speed coming along? A little bit more speed on Oscar might not be such a bad idea. I'll give him the Thief Band. Uh, Brom. Steel Lance, Javelin. Slim Lance for hit, maybe? Nah, he doesn't need it. He has the eye missed, he's fine. And he will get the sword band. I like I like the skill and luck on Rom, actually. I think that is good for him. Titania is gonna get a Steel Axe, an Iron Axe, a Hand Axe, and a Steel Lance. And she can get the... She can continue equipping the Paladin Ban, honestly. I think that's fine for her. She can have the Elixir that the boss... We stole from the boss. Soren, uh, he's gonna level up this chapter. Oh, Elwyn for Soren, that's great. Uh, so I'll put, a, I'll put a Heal Staff in his inventory. Because we know he's gonna level up this turn. And once Soren is a May, I think... Honestly, let's just let him keep the fighter ban. It's it's strength and HP. Although you could make the argument that there are other characters who would really benefit from the strength. Um, let's see what does the fighter ban do again? So the fighter ban is HP strength. There are. Hmm. It is very nice if Soren gets a few strength levels because he won't get encumbered by tomes anymore. Hmm. Hmm. 
he does need strength. It's very nice for him. It gives him HP too, which makes him more durable. Uh, CR cast the Vibrant Band. That's honestly all he needs. Uh, Volk can continue with the Night Band. And just a, de just a knife for Volk, really. Uh, I think I also want a Vulnerary on Volk, just in case. Mists can continue with the heal, the physic, the ward. Uh, we want to probably give one of those two wrists. And I like the mage ban on, on Mist for the time being, for extra magic, even though she doesn't seem to want to level it. Jill, uh, what kind of, so we want the, oh, she probably wants to forge over Oscar, doesn't she? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Oh yeah. She gets the parry GF. And, uh, let's see, we have a Pegasus Band for her and a Priest Band. Pegasus Band, what does that do again? Pegasus Band is, I think that's speed, right? Luck and rest, ugh. Versus, oh, they're both luck and rest. Huh. I mean, it's what she has. I mean, luck and rest ain't bad. To be fair, though, luck and rest, not bad for Jill. Those are two stats that will keep her alive, so... I think that's actually fine. That means we have one band left to give out. I guess I can get a uh, priest band for his final level. As for counter, I'll probably just sell it. It never really yields anything of note, so I think I'll just sell the scroll. It's a thousand gold. It's nice to have. But quite a lot of coins last chapter. That's nice. There we go. All right, I'm pretty happy with uh, with this. I think we're ready to take on the next chapter now. Uh, we definitely want to field Mordecai for the next chapter so we can shove, so might Put a uh, Lagoo Stone on him, maybe? I haven't quite decided yet. Bjork Guard might be useful as well. Counter is okay on left. It's better to sell, in my opinion. Who gets the Arm Scroll? No one really needs it yet. Okay, we, I don't think I'm quite ready for the guitar yet. Arm scroll on Soren for Rex bolts. All right, Let's see who we can bring. All right. Uh, definitely not Nephany. I'll, I'll bring Mordecai over Nephany. And not Marsh. I'll rather bring Leth. <coughs> yeah, we get Gatry back. And it's a good Gatry, too. I might as well show off his growth rates while he's here. So, uh, yeah, I got a pretty good Gatry. He capped defense, which is very nice. And six, with 60% defense growth. He's very likely to do that, which is nice. Uh, so, uh, very, very proud of this Gatry. Seven speed is a little low, but we can we can fix that with a couple Night Ward boosted level ups. So, uh, glad to have him back. We'll see how he turns out. And uh, then we have Astrid, and Astrid is a unit that on paper should be pretty good. Because she comes with Paragon. Which is nice. Uh, one thing that kind of bothers me sometimes is that she tends to die with the Night Ward on her, so... You can forge her a bow if you want. If you really want to use her. I, I personally think she's a little too squishy to be used. Uh, she's just... Her HP is so bad, man. 20 base HP and a 45% HP growth. It just doesn't cut it for Maniac Mode, in my opinion. 
So I'm probably just gonna trade the Night Ward off her. I do like, like, I don't have any bow users, actually, so I... And she can shoot down some Ravens with a Forged Bow, so... There's definitely ways to use her. And, the, and Paragon is very nice. It's a very nice skill, but... Yeah, she's just very frail. She's just extremely frail, and it's very difficult to use her, but... Yeah, we'll definitely do... So what I like to do here is I like to use left to shove Ike from here. And then I'll smite him up with Mordecai. And then, like, recruit Astrid on turn one, recruit Gatch on turn one. Be Donlot lost an Iron Man because of this green tile right here, so you gotta be very careful about that. Put a unit here. Put a unit here. You, you don't want to mess around with that. Just put a unit here and be done with it. And in regards to the chests, definitely open these two chests and then leave these two so the ravens come, come over here. In fact, you might want to actually leave these two now that I think about it so the ravens come down here. They'll open this chest, I think. I think it's very hard to stop them from doing that. But you want to goad the ravens towards these two chests uh, so that you can kill them. Now be aware of the ravens. They will they will definitely go on this tile if you're not careful. So I think that's how Donlot lost one of his Iron Mans. Uh, chest keys. That's That might be a good idea. I uh, can definitely bring a few. Put a chest key on Jill, for example. And then another one on Titan. Ah, Titania don't actually tend to be around there a lot. We could do uh, Oscar. Good idea. Good idea. Bringing a couple chess keys is never a bad idea. Chess safe state? Yes, indeed. I don't think I've ever heard this one. All right, so we'll start with a shove. And then I like to just do this with like I'm paranoid. I know they don't I know they don't usually claim the spot on turn 1. But I also just I don't like leaving it open. Call me paranoid. Here we go. And then what we do is we talk to Gatry. We trade him the Night Ward. We attack and then we run. And then I think we just put Gatry right here. He can tank here. A Javelin would be good for him. I probably should have brought one for him. Yeah, I should have brought him a... Uh... I definitely should have brought him a javelin. That was a bit of a mistake on my end. If I was a little smarter, I could have used Oscar to drop a unit over on the other side. Something to keep in mind. I, I do think one thing I like to do here is just ward up Jill, because we should probably also ward up Gatry, I think. Uh, in fact, I think... Hmm... Maybe we just pick up mists, honestly. We don't have anyone to drop her with. Actually, we do. We have Gatry. But it's a little scary to do that, so I don't know if... Eh, maybe we could. There's an archer right there. He has an iron bow. It's not that scary, but it, it would be nice to have mist on the side. There's a mage, too, so probably not. Probably best to play it safe, I'd say. Gatry can kind of die if you're not careful, so I think I'm going to put him here to start things off with. Choke middle bridge with Celica. Hi, Chuck Norris. Oh, did I not equip the Night Ward? That's okay. It's not going to level up this turn, so that's fine. To Oops. I'm a green unit! Oh boy, that's an 8% crit! 
probably a good idea to put either Titania or Oscar on that on the right bridge, I think. Thanks, green units. Appreciate it. Wow. These green units are getting slaughtered. What the hell? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Is that the third green unit crit? What the fuck? What's going on? Oh my goodness. Total green unit death. Wow. Oh my goodness. That's brutal. So many green units died. Wow. Alright, so we have several things that needs to be done this turn. Uh, we need to drop off mists, and we need to secure the area. Uh, Brom needs to come in here and try his best to... This mage needs to die, and that's kind of important. This mage cannot be allowed to live. This mage is very scary, and I don't like it. I need. We need to get those choke points filled immediately. I wonder if Oscar can kill this guy in one turn. Should be able to. Killer... Killer Lance is a little inaccurate, I gotta say. Oh, come on! Come on! Why? Ugh. Missed this in the fucking way. Maybe I... Maybe I'll shove. Okay. Uh, if I shove Soren, then I think maybe he can get in range. I really don't like... Ah, no, it's still not enough. What the... Mm. Oh, Astrid, maybe. <gasps> Astrid? Astrid? Oh my god! Astrid did something useful! Whoa! Full level, let's go. I'm definitely I'm not I'm definitely putting someone there. Wow. Um actually equip the night word. And then we put we have to put someone on there. Uh might need to use Seahark to kill this guy. Ooh. Ooh, Astrid is in danger. Um Maybe Soren goes on the stair tile? Oh, he can't reach. This is why I'm so paranoid, because I don't think... I don't think anyone can reach it at the moment. I think we'll definitely do a bit of a hit and run here. Because this, this, this sword man kind of has to die. I don't think anyone can go on there at the moment. Is it safe for Soren to go here? I don't know. Is it? I, I don't see anyone who can go here at the moment, so I, I think we're okay. I'm right, right? Like this is, I'm not like this is this is safe, right? And we'll put Soren here. Oh shit, Astrid's in range. Astrid's gonna get killed by the Mermaid on isn't she? She has 13 speed. She has, of course. Ah. Uh, yeah. Ash just gonna die, but like, it's. I hate keeping her alive. It's so tiresome. But I have to. I have to try and rescue Mist here. Wait, Mist might not. Ah, Mist will die. <laughs> She'll definitely die. 13 speed. Yeah, what can I say? Well, five defense. Uh, yeah, she'll take 14 times two and just die. Not much I can do about it, really. Just block with Soren. Well, that's what I'm doing. But the problem is, 
I, I don't know. Actually, actually, never mind. The green unit just. Oh no! Wait. <gasps> okay. Yeah, Astrid is dead. Fuck this unit. I don't give a shit about this unit. <laughs> like, like, fuck this unit. I, I, I don't have patience this run for for Astrid. I, I just don't. Like, at least I took her night word. Uh, we got ex we've, we've come to the point where we have to expand the death counter, ladies and gentlemen. Nice one, Gatry. Good job. <laughs> Takes no damage from the halberdier. That's nice. Uh oh. Ow. Astrid doesn't work on Maniac Mode, I'm sorry to say. Maybe with a robe. Maybe with a robe, but it's a big maybe. It, it, she just, it just... She's too squishy for this difficulty. Alright, here comes the bur- oh! Ah, that almost stopped my heart. That almost stopped my heart. These birds can give you- They will go for the throne if they can, by the way. You gotta be so careful with this man. Okay, well, this is a bad situation because there's a million birds in here. Um, and they are aggressive birds too. I don't, yeah, these birds don't steal. So, um, hmm. One, first thing we gotta do is we gotta clog up here. So we gotta kill as many of these, uh, Oscar, my man, why aren't you killing? We gotta get someone on here. Most likely, Mordecai is a good option, since he doesn't really fight anyway. Oh, I almost ended my turn, my goodness. Um, yeah, there's a lot of guys we need to kill. I think Leth, can she double here? No. But Leth can kill the Archer, which is actually pretty nice. Ooh. Hey, Sabi. Oh, you know, nothing usual, just uh, trying to beat Path of Radiance Maniac mode again, you know? I'll try to go for a crit here, and fail horribly, but at least I've stopped people from coming through here, which is good. And um, I think Soren is honestly more needed over here, killing the Lagoose birds. So I think what I'll do with Seahark is I'll try, maybe I can try a crit here? No. Nope. Yeah, I need Soren to fight the birds. Hit points, strength, speed, luck, let's go. So I'll send Ike over here. Oscar doesn't really need his support right now. I think he's okay on his own. Although there are some mages here, which is not something Oscar. He has seven rests though. Huh. But yeah, we need Soren over here with the L Wind. That's what we need. And even so, you can see it's. Oh, I don't like that 48 hit. That being said, Soren, Soren will level, he will promote to Sage. Soren will promote to Sage. So let's do it. Uh, Ike is level 19, so he's... Let's go! He, he, sorry. He. Let's go! Not picking knives. Shut up! Oh, that's nice. He gets two. He gets two strength from his promo too. I. That's actually really nice. He can use Elwind and. He actually doesn't get slowed down by any of these tomes anymore, just by fire tomes. So, uh, that's actually really nice. Am I gonna pull it? Shut up! I wanna beat this game! Um. Okay, I think Volk can kill the Myrmidon. I will put Mordecai on the green tile, I think. I gotta be watchful. The ravens are gonna spawn soon, and they you're gonna see that they are able to steal because they have swipe. Um, mm. 
Not gonna lie, still a little worried about Soren, but uh, I think I'll be okay. I think I will keep this guy here. I need to guard... Um... Jill is almost dead. Yeah, don't worry. I'm gonna run over here with Mist and Physiker. There we go. But I I probably need to... Okay, so these ravens can kind of go everywhere, and it sucks. I think what I could do is I could attack with Jill and go down here, but there's some... Jill isn't the tankiest. Uh, Mordecai is actually pretty tanky with 13 defense. And these guys do 18, so if they attack him, he'll just transform faster. So I do think we keep Mordecai on the green square. Uh, Volk, I'm gonna open these two chests with him, I think. Oh shit, no, I was gonna kill the Myrmidon. Oh, damn it. Um, that's okay, though. So these, these ravens can go around and attack Soren, which is a little bit scary, so... Probably want to put Rom here as a result. And then we probably want to kill this Myrmidon with, with Jill and put Jill below Soren. Actually, now he can't be attacked anymore. I'll still put her here. Myrmidon is in mist range? No, no, no. Not anymore. I just killed him, so... Alright, good. They're going for Titania. That's very good. Oh, Soren, don't do that. Oh no, there's more archers that can attack Soren. Please, no. Uh, okay, wow. Come on. Alright, Titania will swipe a couple of these guys, which is good. No damage, no damage. That's great. Oh, very good. Okay, that's that's beautiful, actually. This is great experience for Gatring. What the hell was that? Did he just... Did that guy have a depth? What? What the... Wh what was that? Huh? Do you guys see that? He attacked twice and then what? He attacked me three times. What? Oh, he missed. Oh, he missed. Just gotta work what's going on, Egg. Ah, oh, trying to beat Chapter 13. It's always an interesting thing to try and beat. Oh, wow. Oh, he missed. It, I thought maybe he had Adept or something. It looked like he attacked me twice and then another time. Alright, well, um... Let us... Okay, so we need to think. The Ravens have not shown up yet, so we still have some time. We still have some time. Uh, Gatry is in a great spot right now. Soren should probably just heal at this point, because he can kind of generate his own experience, which is really nice. I think what we want to do is we want to... We need to give kills to Seahark, so I'm thinking the Lagoose Slayer probably is what we want to do here. They appear next turn, so we got to be ready for them. Uh, one of them are going to steal a Mastery Scroll from this chest, and if we want that... We're gonna have to be a little aggressive, so I'm thinking about maybe warding Titania up, maybe? I'm thinking about warding Titania up. Maybe healing her like this, and then warding her up and sending her up to clear out some mages. Because if she can do that, then that would be very good for us. Alright, we can't ward from there. Did you take the chest keys? Yes, I'm thinking about maybe having Titania. Because with the ward... With the ward, she can kill these mages really easily. She won't take much damage back. Although, her offense... Maybe I should have given her a short axe, actually. I don't know if she kills them in one hit. I guess we'll have to find out. Um, nice little kill for Jill here. That's great. Oh, it's safe. Yeah, yeah. Oh, let's go, Jill! Let's go, Jill! That's what I'm talking about. Probably should get a javelin over to Gatry, honestly. 
so he can retaliate against both of these guys. So I'm gonna do this. And then I'll just continue to tank with Brom. Brom and Gatry, it's a shame they don't support each other. That would have been really cool. I would have loved for them to be able to support each other. And I'm thinking we just actually move in with I care. That may may have been a mistake. Uh Maybe not. Maybe we maybe we don't do that. Yeah, maybe we don't put Ike in a bunch range of bunch of mages. That actually sounds like a great idea. Yeah, let's not do that. Yeah, let's not do that. That that was a, that was a really dumb idea. I, I don't really know why I thought that would be a good idea. Because it certainly was not a good idea. What about Russ? He's safe. You gotta have more faith in me. <laughs> Just go back and Astra's already dead. Please reset. No, Astra sucks. Will you consider doing Rex Bolt Sorin? Isn't that like a giant meme? Isn't that like the memeiest build ever? Oh, I didn't equip the Javelin, I think. Doesn't, doesn't Sorin need, like, three arm scrolls or something to even pull that off? Is Rex Bolt even that good? I thought the, uh, I thought the tomes were kind of meme -y. It's good against dragons. Alright. Wait, is it? Are you thunder effective against dragons in this game? I thought that was Radiant Dawn. Alright, here they come. So, these are the birds that just steal, I think? Yeah, these birds. So, if we want to get the Mastery Scroll, we're going to have to try and take it with Titania right now. Which could be tricky to do. But I think if Soren kills the Javeliner, and maybe Jill kills the Mage, I think Titania, because I put a Chesky on her, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, I didn't. Uh, but Jill can trade it, so... What we do is we send Soren over here. Wait, Mist got strength? Cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, so what we do is we go over here, we trade the chest key, we use the Perigea for accuracy, and that, ladies and gentlemen, will net us a beautiful scroll. Or was it an energy drop? I don't remember. One of the two. A cold scroll. This is a big one. Yeah, this is a big one. Uh, this a cold scroll is very nice. That's ether for Ike or someone else. I don't like this one actually. What about the Awakening one? Is that a good one? I think it's alright. Colossus Boyd. I love that there's like this one Boyd fanboy left in Sha. He's coping so hard. He's like, oh, maybe. Maybe I'll get my void build! Maybe if I just keep saying it and chat, void will come back! It's never coming back, buddy. It's never happening. Sorry to say. Uh, 
Uh, I don't know what to do with Brom. <laughs> He's kind of just... <gasps> well, that didn't take long, did it? I can never keep this girl alive. I can never keep this girl alive, no matter how much I try. Oh my goodness, I traded away the ward staff, I think, before she died. Thank goodness. Hey, strength and skill on Gatry. No speed, though. Roar on Leth. Such a meme build, man. Ah. Uh... You're tired and that was just negligence? I agree. That's the thing. Oh, okay. So that's the that's the energy drop. I'd like I want that. Um Don't think there's any way I can get it though. I can never keep this girl alive. I guess just so hard. One little misstep and oh no, what the fuck? Okay. I will it crashed, but I will not save Mist. She died. She died. She died. We are not going back on that. I just got it. What did I do? I think I did, like... I think I killed this guy with Oscar, right? Watch her proc miracle now. Watch her proc miracle. If she does, I'm still gonna kill her. I I'm still gonna kill her, guys. I, I'm, I'm not- we're not going back on that. We're not going back on that. And she had a physic in her inventory. So, I did- I did trade it over! I did- you remember I did this! You remember that I did this! You remember that I did this! Then I think I put Rom right here. It's not taint! It's not taint- she's still gonna die! She's still gonna die! Watch her- she's not gonna proc Miracle. There you go, she's still dead. I totally traded the physic away. Scroll back if you don't believe me. Let's record this moment. Maybe Titania won't get the same lucky RNG this time around against uh, Myrmidon style. Oh, look at that. That's a... Yeah, she misses twice. But that's worse for me. So this was arguably just worse for me in every way. Alright, safe state. Um, this guy will start moving at some point where you get in his range, if I remember correctly. Um, hmm. No doubling here. Now there's three more deaths, of course. What did you expect? That I just wouldn't die? Alright, so there's an energy drop, and I think... I don't remember what's in this one, but I think it's a longbow? Or I think the boss drops this longbow, actually. Yeah, he does. Um, how are we gonna get out of this one? So, I'm thinking... That's not enough. What about the forged lance? Is that enough? Almost? Soren is really the only, like, good ranged attacker we have here, capable of, like, killing Myrmidons and what have you. I've never seen Dolphin crash so many times. It's because I'm constantly speeding it up. It really doesn't like that. That's why. That's why it's behaving like this. Hey, maybe I can kill this guy with Jill. Can I get away, though? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... So Jill has eight move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can put Jill here, which I think is safe. No, it's not. It's a steel bow right there. Um, well, I don't think I can. I don't think I can catch the energy drop guy. Oh, oh okay. I could have crit him. I could have crit him. Wow. I could have just crit him. 
I haven't completely given up on this guy yet, though. I... I haven't completely given up on this guy just yet. I'm gonna try a Killer Lance against this guy. Didn't work, but it was worth a shot. Whoa, no! No! No, I hate blank level ups. Blank level ups are the worst. I'll grab this chest, but I'll keep the last one alive. Long sword, my favorite item in Path of Radiance. Not. Nah, this is not, not safe territory for for Volkir. I could shove Soren to give him a bit more range, I guess, but it's a little bit scary to have Soren walk around here by himself. Especially considering these guys might suddenly start to move around, so ugh, maybe that wasn't the best idea. I do have a Physic on Riss that I will use on Titania. I don't think he'll go for Soren though, if I'm gonna be completely honest. Alright, Gatri, level up! Let's go, speed! Dude, you have a Night Ward! Dude! You have a Night Ward! Use it! Hi, Tibarn. Uh, they're not gonna target Riss. They don't... These, these Ravens don't... Ugh. Careful, Rom. These Ravens don't fight. They go for chests and then they run away. I mean, it's a 55% growth rate with a Night Word, which is, I mean, should see a few levels at least. Come on. There's a chance Jill might be able to pick up that Raven with, um... There's a chance Jill might be able to pick up the Raven. Because I don't think the Raven flees right away. It goes towards the exit point. So Jill might still be able to snipe the Raven. Ooh, hi there. I guess he did come back, but... He went for Titania instead of Soren. Okay, cool. Yeah, that guy needs to die. Oh, Speedwing, I want that. Oh, I want that. Yeah, so these guys are now going for the bottom chests, which we're gonna try to keep away from them. Um, he's injured, though. Wait, where'd the other guy go? Wait, what? Did he run away? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no. I don't get the speed wing. That's such a... Oh, that is such a good stat booster, too. Unless... Yeah, Volk is not gonna get two points of speed, so I'm just gonna have to take the L. That sucks. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to take that L. Ike needs healing. Ike is injured. Oh, let's not put Riss in range of the Halberdier and have him kill a second healer. Try to untransform him and st Oh! <laughs> Try to untransform him, that's hilarious, PH. But... You can't- I don't think enemy Lagoose untransform, do they? Oh my god, they do. <laughs> okay, uh, so... <laughs> I love it. Let's do it. Uh, we need to attack him with light attacks. We need to not kill him, though. That'll be the challenge. That's impossible, though. How the fuck are we supposed to do that? Like, he will... Um... Yeah, if we... He lose one point per attack. There's no way. We're, we're literally gonna have to hope we miss here. Volk knife attack? Volk is so far away, though. Alright. 
I, I, I don't think these guys will ever attack. I think they might go for the throne, though, if you're not careful, so... You do have to be a bit cautious. Um... He might come down for this next chest, maybe? I'm not sure. Rom is fine. I think he might go for the chest, so maybe I should just run like this. Maybe. Maybe I should send everyone down here to kill some birdies. I think I think that's probably the play. I think we send everyone down here for the birdie. It depends on where this guy decides to go. I'll leave Titania in the back. But I'll move her slowly down as well. Because we're going to have to kill all these birdies. I don't remember what causes the boss to go aggressive. It's some sort of thing. Come on, Titania. Kill him. Okay. If Soren took knives, this wouldn't be happening! <laughs> uh, wow! Let's go, Titania! Okay, now he's going. Hi, Chuck Norris. This guy's actually kind of scary, because he's got a depth. And uh, he can proc it uh, to do quite a lot of damage, so... That's a lot of birdies we gotta kill in one. He is coming this way! We can do it! We can untrue! <laughs> We can untr- we, we surround the chest! <laughs> we surround the chests. We sur- okay. We just have to kill every single bird. Uh, oh, very nice. Soren actually kills here, so. We surround the chests. We wait for him to untransform. He might flee, actually, or he may attack, so this- STRENGTH! Strength! <laughs> Buff Soren, let's go. Let's go. We probably have to keep Ike here to keep the boss from... But we can put Leth here. Oscar here. Uh, we want to kill every single one. Oh, laggy. Elfunder weighs six. Okay, cool. We can kill. We need to kill as many birds as we can that are not that bird. And hopefully, if we surround the chest, he'll just fly around it. Oh, very nice level up for Seahard Claire. Let's go. Um, yeah, this this works. And Jill, uh, Jill is actually kind of injured, so we might need to heal her up. So we, yeah, we need to put. We need to ensure we have enough guys. Because we have Volk here, Leth here, Oscar might be able to... Okay, now that guy's on full health. We're not killing him. Um, hmm. Is there any way for us to... I think this is going to be... Actually, why don't we just surround him? Yeah. Why don't we just surround the bird? Huh? But we also gotta kill this guy. Ah. Uh... Yeah, we just surround the bird. Why why overcomplicate things? I'm gonna try to go for a crit here. And then if that doesn't work, I'll put left here, Ike here with a and then like Volk here. I'll I'll try to crit him. It's probably not gonna work, but I'll try it. Okay, it didn't work. That's okay, though. Even if he gets the chest, it's no problem, because I'm going to surround this guy. So, uh, I'll put Leth right here. Ike here. He has longbow, but it, it's fine. Um, maybe we even put Gatry here. Uh, could work. Ideally, I would like for this guy not to take the chests, but even if he does, it's not really a big deal. 
Brom can probably take over the tanking duties, I'd say. Or maybe we'll move back with Titania like this. We'll, we'll, we'll put Gatry here. I don't know if this will cause him to attack. We will ha just have to see. Oh, I don't like that 2% crit. I think it's probably better to keep Titania here. Let's just kill this fucker. You kill Leth? Dude, you think this boss is gonna kill Leth? She has 9 defense. This guy does 22 damage. Less with the longbow. 17 minus 9. Leth is fine. You severely underestimate her tankiness. Leth is durable. Uh, she's breedable, of course. So I probably need to heal Braum this turn. Yeah, I'll need to Physic Braum, I think. If Braum's gonna tank that, he needs to be on full health. Oh shit, with this bird, he's gonna steal the last chest and then all the birds are gonna run away. That's... A little bit weird, a little bit unforeseen right there, but oh well. Jill dead if she doesn't move? These guys run away, guys. They don't they don't attack. They don't run away, guys. They don't. Okay, Volk, if you could get a 12% crit right now. Fuck. That would have been nice. Uh-oh. Kill him, Brom. Good job. Good job, Brom. Good job. <laughs> okay. Thanks, I guess. Oh! He got crit! <laughs> he got crit! And he just tanked it. Alright. He takes the chests. What? He's stealing my chest keys? Hey! He's not gonna- Oh, he might un- Okay, he might untransform now. Okay, we just gotta make him untransform. It's not hard. Uh, we'll attack him. Is he gonna keep stealing me? He can't steal equipped items though, so. He's got two left. Uh, we'll kill this guy with Seahark. Attack him once and he'll untransform next turn. Okay. Uh, Alright, so I guess I'll swap. I still- I don't want Ike to be on low health, so I am gonna pop Bonerys with him. Even though the bird might steal them away from me, that is just fine. Don't crit, please. Thank you. Well, I guess Riss is my healer now. I guess these are just... I guess this is what we have to deal with right now, ladies and gentlemen. Riss is our healer. And Braum is getting crit by this guy, and I don't like it. So I'm gonna do this. Okay, uh, let's heal up Jill. I don't think we'll be killing the boss. I have a feeling we will not. Is Volk in danger from a longbow? The longbow cannot reach him. The longbow can reach, uh... Oh shit, wait, he can. Um... I think the boss will continue... Yeah, the boss might actually go for... No, Volk has shadow, so he won't. There we go! There we go! <laughs> I can't believe this worked! I can't believe this worked! <laughs> oh, 
was the best thing I've ever done. That is so fucking funny. Oh my goodness. <laughs> that is the stupidest thing I have ever done. Thanks, PH. Good advice. Let's kill the boss. Nice, Lance rank. Uh, I hope I can kill the boss. Yeah, I can. That, my goodness, that deserves a video, I think, or like a short or something. That was too good. That was too good. There we go. Uh, anyone else needs healing? I think all the ravens are just gonna flee now. So aside from losing uh, Mist and Astre, that was a pretty... Well, that was successful. I got the Occult Scroll and everything, which is... Honestly, what you need is just the Occult Scroll. Question is, should I give it to anyone? Maybe uh, once Oscar promotes, I'll give him Soul. Even though I feel like it almost never saves him, but, you know. Yeah, they're just gonna run away now. There we go. <laughs> that is so stupid. Oh, I like this track. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's it. Obviously, we'll do some memes. I know you guys love, I know you guys love your memes. Oh boy, fallen mist and Astrid. Ike sad. All right, let's just quickly do the support. Um, oh, a support with Oscar. I mean, who else is he gonna support? I guess that, yeah, I guess that makes sense, right? Yeah, why not, right? Oh, I kind of want the A support with Soren, though. Ugh. Yeah, Oscar can support with Tanith. Hmm. Stefan Soren. I guess that's such a bad support for him, though. The thing about Soren, he only has two supports in the entire game, and one. So it's it's for Soren's sake. I think it's better to not go Ike, Oscar A, because it's it like it helps Soren so much to have that A support with Ike. So I think that's what we're gonna go for. Oscar Tana does double Earth. That is a good point, actually. That is gonna be crazy for Oscar. He's never gonna get hit by anything. All right, let's uh let's do memes. Bump, 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 bump. Da 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 da. <laughs> the angel ring doesn't double growth rates. Ah yes, ah yes. <laughs> The Grail Mercenaries out training. And those are actually all the memes. Alright, let's do a uh, quick Q&A. Man, I streamed for a long time. Five hours, my goodness. Uh, did I miss out on any donations? Curse chest, donor two bucks. Please show the Mangs 2988 edit for Bethany. How about I don't? The Tankless Tactician donated five bucks. Hey, Mangs, hope Soren survives one of your playthroughs for once. I also have a game recommendation. Try Yakuza. Like a dragon. I think you'd love it. I've actually seen a game review of Yakuza. It looked fun. Fear Guy donated five bucks through Soup Chat. It's an unaligned misfortune that Mia would be mangled on Maniac Mode if she were mobilized. Yeah, she really would. 
One of them donated five bucks to Super Chat. Jill always gets RNG screwed in my playthrough. She never levels strength. I played Path of Radiance at least a dozen times. Same story every fucking time. Really? I've only ever had good Jills. Like, above average Jills. Not like amazing Jills, but okay Jills. All right. Uh, oh, unit review. Sure, we could do that. I, I always forget to do the unit review. Uh, all right, let's uh, go through each of our units and just see how they're doing. Uh, Ike is level 20. I I'd say this is a, a little bit above average Ike. His defense is a little low still, but 17 strength, 18 speed is very good. This Ike will definitely cap strength and speed, which is what you want him to do. Probably skill as well, which is nice. Uh, Seahawk, I uh, haven't given him as many kills as I thought, but um, he'll cap his speed for sure. The Vibrant Band should help him out with strength. Yeah, once he becomes a Swordmaster, I envision he's gonna hit quite hard. Oscar continues to charge along just fine. 15 speed, set very tanky Oscar. 17 defense, that's crazy. Ah, uh, he's gonna be very bulky. He's gonna cap defense for sure. Braum still hasn't really... I'm At the start of the next stream, I'm gonna give him a Night Ward and I'm gonna give him a bunch of bonus experience. So hopefully he'll catch up a little bit by then. Uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, Titania, she's... In, I think this Titania is really good, actually, looking at it. It's always hard to tell because she's always good. But I think this Titania is pretty damn decent. 18 strength, 19 speed at level 10 seems good. Uh, Soren is god. Like, this is the most god-like Soren I've ever had. Level 2 Sage, and he's... He's, he's gonna cap magic, skill, and speed without any problems. Probably his rest as well. Uh, this is an absolutely bonkers Soren. Um, four strength is really nice. He can now wield Elf Thunder without losing speed, so he's gonna double pretty much everything. Although, I will be honest, most of the stuff that Soren's gonna do towards the end of the Let's Play is just heal, or he's... He's just gonna be healing for the rest of the stream, but he might fight a little bit too. Volk, I don't think there's anything unusual about him. He's gotten a couple strength speed level ups, which is nice. So, he's gonna be able to steal things. Uh, Riss, I guess I'm stuck with him now. With Miss dying, Riss is gonna be an important healer, so I, I better put shade on him and try to keep him alive. In fact, this may sound absolutely bonkers, but I think if I want Riss to stay alive, I might have to give him a robe. Because the thing is, on... Uh, <laughs> the thing is, even with shade, they're still gonna go for him if they can kill him. If I give him a robe, that might not happen. So, hmm. Jill, um, I don't think there's anything magnificent about her yet. She'll grow, though. She'll grow. Lef, not using her. Mordecai, not using him. Gatry, good Gatry. 22 defense. Capping defense before promotion. Pretty solid. He just needs some speed and rest, and he'll be good to go. I do have a, I do have a talisman. Could consider giving it to him. If his rest doesn't go anywhere. I think Braum has significantly better rest than him. Marsha not using her. Nefani not using her. Mia not using her. Soth not using him. And that's my unit review. Ba -ba. Silverhouse asks, Have you disabled the dual core mode on the emulator? I hear that it reduces the frequency of your emulator crashes. I play it around a lot with the settings, and they're... There's some things that make it worse and some things that make it better. I could try the dual core thing. I'm not gonna do it while I'm live, but I'll, I might look into it after stream. Thank you for the tip. Ufas, what's your favorite and least favorite arc in FE9 Maniac, like bundle of chapters? Oh, Serenus Forest is the worst by far. There's not even, it's not even close. Serenus Forest is tedious as fuck. Um, my favorite? Honestly, I really like the Dane arc, like, it's a big difficulty spike, but it feels good when you beat it. Uh, it. It goes a little ham with the status staves and the siege tomes, but there are ways around that. You can use Tanit's Holy Guard to soak it. You can use a rest tank to soak it. Like there are ways around it for sure. But the Dane arc is pretty fun. Yuho asks, "Why you kill Mist? Why are you asking stupid questions?" Uh, Augusto asks, what's the current track name? Uh, Tea Time in Freyern. It's a very good engage track. Curse Chest, um, feels good when you beat it. Yeah. 
On Tundo asks, what do you think of the Talia's Gamble skill? It's uh, absolute trash. I was able to make it work once in a randomizer. You may remember the, the randomized Path of Radiance Let's Play I did. Um, I had Ike and Ronolf together, and they both had... No, I think it was Ike and Ronolf, and I randomized Affinity, so they both had... I don't remember, it was Ronolf and someone else, and Ronolf had a Heaven Affinity, and he supported with another person with a Heaven Affinity, and then he was a Swordmaster, and I gave him the Vague Kari, which was double Heaven... So he had double Heaven A support, and he used Gamble with the Vague Kari to have a 100% hit and a 100% crit. That was the only time I have ever found that good. Ever. <laughs> uh, uh, Paper asks, what game company do you despise? Oh, it's, it's actually two now. Blizzard Entertainment for shitting all over my favorite games and for ruining a great company, although they've been bought up by Microsoft now and that so far it seems to be a good thing. But there is another company that I really loathe, Chucklefish. They're fucking incompetent. You fucked up Wargroove 2. Or rather, you fucked up any interest in the franchise to the point where only 50 people got Wargroove 2 when you released it. Incompetent ass company. Uh, Chucklefish is the company who made Wargroove, and uh, apparently they fuck up every game they touch. Nintendo asks, is Jill as good as Melody? It's different. It's difficult to compare units from different games. I think I would like to- I think I would say that Melody probably dominates a bit more compared to, like, Melody is so good. You can't, like, in Fire Emblem 6, it's very rare to be able to one-round enemies. Melody can do that. It's very- f there are very few units on your roster who can one-round enemies in hard mode. Like, you get Percival, he can do it. And you get, like, some of your- if you train up, like, a good Sage, he can do it. Um, but generally speaking, it's very rare in FE6 to one-round enemies. Even the unpromoted enemies, like mercenaries, are hard to one-round. Melody does that, and she flies. So she is really... I think she is probably, like, top two? Not the second most powerful unit in the game? Or maybe even the best, honestly. She's incredible. Jill is still good, but I think she's a little step below Melody. Uh, no, Barth is not the best. Oof. <laughs> Barth also flies if Shauna rescues him. I, I, I don't have any retort to that. ABC is awesome as Boyd, Kieran, and Mage Band will be missed, won't they? Uh, I, I didn't. Oh shit! Mist, Mist had the Mage Band! You're right! That's a travesty. Yeah, no more Mage Band for me. Although, who would I really put the Mage Band on at this point? Like, is there any units who need magic? I don't think so. Soren's gonna cap it anyway. Um. Soren's gonna- Tor mod would probably enjoy it, yeah. Yeah, Tor mod would enjoy it. Cursed Chess asks, what's the backstory behind Ninja Boro? It's a stupid little thing to try and teach me the Fate's Weapon Triangle, and I fucking hate that it works. Because you got Robin with the swords and the tomes, and you got Bartra with the axes and the bows, and you got Ninja Boro with the lances and the hidden weapons. It's a- it's a way to try and make you remember the Fates Triangle. I just got very tired of people saying it, but I, I- I do get it. I do get it. I understand how it might help. Um... Nintendo asks, have you ever heard of the Fire Emblem hack Sword of Heaven and Earth? I gotta be completely honest. This may sound very arrogant, but ever since I- ever since I- ever since I completed Andalan Saga, I've had very little interest in playing other hacks because I'm just gonna get caught up about everything I wanna do different with them, and it's very rude to the creator to do that, so... Um, I find myself getting... Because I find that a lot of hacks... And I'm sure other hack hackers felt the same thing about the Andoran Saga, but when I play another person's hack, I always see, like, a lot of lost potential in their maps and stuff like that, and I, and I start wanting to change it. I'm like, oh my god, it would be awesome if you just changed this here. Like, if you put a bridge down here, this map would be perfect. And it's, it's very rude to do that to other creators, so I, I'd rather just stay away. Uh, that being said, maybe I'll try a hack one day. I don't know. We'll see. Outlet Forker asks, chocolate or vanilla? I think I prefer chocolate. Uh, IFK asks, tell me how the secret Thea promotion is. I've Googled it already. Uh, you gotta Google it again. You gotta donate five hundred dollars to my PayPal and then Google it, and you'll you'll get it. I know you don't mind, Ephraim, but you're nice. 
Uh, Angry Luja asks, have you thought about playing other Metal Gear games after Rising? Uh, Bethany really wants me to play the first Metal, or the, like, the second one. So I might do that. Bropub asks, how can you tell if Mia is pink if you're colorblind? Because colorblindness doesn't work like that. Google it. I can see colors. It's... I don't see the world in black and white. Uh, Nintendo asks, do you sleep enough? I try to. I try to get my eight hours. Um, I'm pretty good at that. I'd say I don't always... PH, don't spam. PH, don't spam. Mods, can you time PH out? He's breaking the rules. Very bad. Um, Norkins asks, you said YouTube likes streams. How many subs should you have before you start streaming? I don't have an answer to, like, exactly. I don't... It depends on what you... Like, it, I get asked this a lot by people. Like, how can I... What should I do on YouTube? And my answer is, what are you trying to get out of it? Are you just streaming for fun? Are you hoping to make it into a job? Are you... Do you want to make money off it? If, if you do, then 99% you're probably not going to succeed. Because it's a really... If you're not... YouTube is like... A lot of people ask me, like, Mengs... How do I get big on YouTube? And my answer is like, create your channel back in 2012. I know it's shit advice, but it's the only advice I can give you. You kind of have to get in with one foot and then... It's very hard to make it on YouTube these days. You kind of have to really be unique. Because people just are kind of set in what they watch. It's very hard to get... Even I've seen seriously underrated channels who deserve so many more subs, but they just don't get the traction. Sometimes I feel like YouTube is a bit luck-based. But um, there's no specific amount of subs you should have before you start streaming. But you have to ask yourself, what do you hope to get out of the streaming? Are you just going to stream for fun? Just stream for fun. Stream for f five years. It's fine. Like, just do it. Do you want to turn it into a job? Then I'd say try to build your channel up. Like, let's say, let's say I was a new Fire Emblem content creator today and I wanted to make it big. Honestly? There's, a, there's an answer to that. Just look at Excel Emblem. Like, he, he carved out a niche for himself and he was able to grow his channel. Why did Excel Emblem grow and, like, these countless other YouTube channels didn't? There was no one shouting him out, that's for sure. But he, he did something unique that no one else did. He did Iron Man's, which is something I've done, but he made those, like, funny little recaps. So, what you gotta do... He also makes engaged content, this is true. So what you gotta do, if you're a new content creator, you gotta have to find a niche that no one else fills. You either gotta do it as as good as the people who are already doing it, or you have to find a unique niche. Uh, if you're charismatic, then you might be able to do the same thing that everyone else does and do it well. If you're not charismatic, you better have some kind of editing or some kind of idea that sets your videos apart. Because if you're just some generic guy and you start Let's Playing FE7, it's not gonna work. You, no one's gonna watch that. So you need to you need to find something that only you can do, some unique idea. I wouldn't be able to tell you what that is. You gotta figure that one out on your own. So and just try asking yourself what kind of what kind of Fire Emblem content do I want to see and what is not out there? Is there something that no one is doing at the moment? It can also you can also fill a niche of someone who's not making content anymore, for example. So like you know. I will say, though, it's a terrible time to get into Fire Emblem content right now, because, as you know, Fire Emblem algorithm is really bad. So, you're only really able to do it if you have a big subscriber base like I do. I would not want to try to make a Fire Emblem channel right now with, like, the algorithm being down to 10%. Like, it's... Engage did a number on this franchise, man. I think the best way to get into Fire Emblem content would be to wait for the next release and try to make videos about that. Try making guides or something, some funny shit posts or something like that. Again, it's difficult to give YouTube advice. It really is, because very few YouTubers even know why they blew up, you know? Nintendo asks, how m uh, which death do you regret the most so far? Ah, uh, Kieran. I don't care about Boyd. I cared a little bit about Ileana. I don't give a shit about Rolf. I don't give a shit about Astrid. I missed Stung a little bit, but I kind of expected I'd lose her at some point. Kieran is by far the unit I would have wanted to have the most, because he's amazing together with Oscar. But Oscar can do just fine without Kieran. He isn't, he isn't dependent on him. Uh, Yuho asks, will you play Tree Hopes? No. Tree Hopes does nothing for me. 
I'm sorry, guys. I'm not a Warriors guy. I tried. I tried. I tried to play the original Fire Emblem Warriors when it came out. I tried to play Tree Hopes. It just isn't my kind of game, man. And at least if they... I think the fact that they don't even try to make a good story is the thing that annoys me the most. Although Tree Hopes certainly tried more than the first one. I just... The Warriors gameplay, it's fun for like 10 minutes and then I grow completely bored out of it. It's like, oh, here comes another pack of enemies that I gotta... Ooh, oh, look, I'm smashing them up in the air. Bam, 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 bam. Oh, wow, super attack. Boom, okay, run to the next zone. Oh, there's a bunch of... Boom, 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 boom. Gather them together in a little ball. Ooh, super attack. Boom, it's like... I'm sorry, but it's just not enticing or, or interesting at all. Like, there's no... I'm sure there is some strategy when you play it on, like, higher difficulties. I'm sure. I'm sure that you will need to, like... Mo I, I'm not saying the game can't be hard, because I never played it on the hardest difficulty, and I'm sure there's some strategy involved, but for me, it's just nah. It, it just doesn't do anything for me. Cheerful Weeb, what are you going to stream on Halloween? I think I'm going to stream that uh, princess game. It looks fun. Uh, Pospy asks, did you ever wonder how Weapon Might is always lower than unit strength? A punch does more damage than a sword confirmed? Huh? I don't think that's how it works. I don't think that's how it works, dude. I think... Nah. I don't, I don't, because you add your might to the strength, so... <clears throat> if I have seven strength, and the sword has seven might, I punch, I do seven. I hit with the sword, I do fourteen. Yeah, 14. So I do uh, twice as much damage using the sword. So, no, that's not how it works at all. <laughs> but nice try, I guess. Uh, ben Gady asks, would you like to do coring quests or a CMU? Yeah, so uh, I will do... I need to dig my 3DS up from, the, from, from a bunch of boxes, but I will do a coring quest because in April of 2024, we are, the servers are gonna go down, and I probably will have to start very soon, because... Well, I'm getting married at early 2024, and I'll be going on my honeymoon, so... Um... Yeah, I think after we're done with the Awakening CMU, we're gonna do a coring quest for sure. Because, uh, it'll be the last coring quest that we can ever do. Um, bu 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 bum, bu bum, bum, bum. Alright, last question before I log off, guys. Nintendo asks... Oh, I've answered a bunch of your questions already. Um, let's get a more interesting one here. Oh, here we go. Eric Plaza asks, Have you ever played Baldur's Gate 1 or 2 before? Dude, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 was my childhood. I probably sunk hundreds of hours into both of those games. I love them. I, I, Baldur's Gate 3, while it is a great game, didn't really do much for me, if I'm gonna be completely honest. It didn't... I couldn't really tell what connection it had to the other two, besides being in a similar location. Uh, so, but Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 was my jam. I love those games. I, me and my brother, we we, we, we we set up like a LAN connection, and we played through Baldur's Gate 1 and 2 together with, with each of our, we played like a two-man party. He was a, he was a fighter mage called San Anvan, and I was a fighter cleric called Torgar. And we had so much fun playing through the first and second Baldur's Gate. Some of my favorite childhood memories with my brother. That was really, really cool. We explored dungeons. We, uh, we, we, like, we did quests. We did, we did, we did like, every single quest in Baldur's Gate 1, and then we imported our characters over into Baldur's Gate 2, and then we imported those characters over to Throne of Ball, and then we beat the Boss Bond Saga. And it was great, man. It was great. Best, one of the best gaming memories I have from my childhood. Were your characters bald? No, I was bored. I was a dwarf. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, well, yum, yum, yum. I'll see you guys on Sunday with the CMU. Take care. Bye bye.